Okay, I think we're live. Um, I can't see who's here, but there might not be anyone here. Welcome, it's May Larson here with Crafting on a Budget. And we're gonna create a witch's hat. And um, I have to redeem myself on the last night video because I have the perfect idea of how that pattern for the witch's boot is going to work but if you go on my instagram you will see the one i created last night which i still think it looked fabulous but we've changed some things to the pattern and like i said there's going to be four kits available for that um that which is creative juices that we created last night now today we're going to be creating a witch's hat and for that i'm using this is from one of our broilers. Um, it's about the biggest thing I could find. Hey, Carrie. Hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to create that witch's hat. I was going to come a little later, but, you know, I said, let's knock this out of the ballpark because um, that way we're not so late. So anyway, I'm using this wonderful thing called a broiler thingy, thing bobby to make my circle round circle. So you can use anything that is round and circle. You're gonna need felt, you're gonna need muslin because um, the muslin um, be easy to paint and easy to maneuver. So I've already cut two pieces of my round circle and then just take a triangle um, about the length that you want your witch's hat to be and cut two pieces for, um, and I put a little round shapey thingy here um, on the tip, like so. So that's my witch's hat. You're gonna need polyfill and of course a sewing machine and some pipe floral wire thingies. I was gonna say, you can use pipe cleaner, but you use these just because I want to make it kind of shapeable. You need to use some black paint and um, a sandpaper some uh, I use this because it was a lot easier Mod Podge but you want to make sure it's the matte you don't want to use the glossy stuff that'll jack it up you're gonna want some um, ground um, cinnamon just don't use organic that's kind of you can go to Dollar Tree and get this for a buck Guys, if you're just coming in, don't forget to smack the thumbs up. I am going to be rolling some awesome videos for you guys this week. And I'm going to be just bombarding you guys with videos. I know I said that last time, but last week, but uh, Friday was my mom's birthday. And I don't do good on those days. So anyway, so I just use regular muslin. Um, you want to get the most affordable. Don't go out there and buy really expensive stuff. Hey, Miss Joyce. Hey, Denise. Don't buy expensive stuff. Now, all this, I'm going to say crap. <laughs> it's all this remnants. I'm going to make a witch. Now, you guys wanted me to do a primitive witch. Well, guess what? I'm going to do a primitive witch, and I'm just going to use these that I got at um, Joann's. Um, they're little feet picks, $5.99, but they were on sale. So I'm going to make a primitive witch. Um, so just stay tuned for that video because with every boot and hat, you need a witch. And that witch um, left her um, her shoe somewhere at the ball and the Prince Charming and the Toad has to come and find the other shoe and bring it to the witch so that she can turn into a princess, however you want that story to go. So, all right. So this is what I did. Any circle, any size you want your witch's hat to be in your polyfill, of course. And I'm just going to trace. Hope you guys are doing good on this Sunday. I went for my walk. I did four miles. Um, trying to keep somewhat active and fit during this pandemic. Hey, Yvonne, how are you? You want to see her done. Yeah, I'll try to get, um, I was going to cut out with all those little scrap remnants that I already had, um, the body. And it's really simple. All you need is take the body. And I'm going to have to cut out, um, let's see, the arms. And normally I just, 
You want to some if you want to keep using your templates, I would suggest you use. Sorry, I'm walking away to look for some. I suggest you use like cardstock or chipboard. It's really thick, and so her body would be somewhat like like that, almost like that tongue. The head will be attached to there. Oh, that's a little wonky, but, and then you just create the arms. Simple as that. Doesn't have to be so complex, but. And then, and then you can stitch there. So that's pretty much how I'm going to do it. I know that's, it's the drawing of it. It'll make more sense once I get her done. And I don't have to do the feet, which is the wonderful thing. I'm good, thank you. How are you walking in? One of the best things you can do for your health. Exactly. I, I agree. I agree. And I love where we live. There's a part. I keep saying I want to do a video of my walking. Um, that, that way it keeps me, it holds me accountable that I'm actually doing it. Um, I, okay, so I got two pieces of felt because I want it to be sturdy on the base. Um, but the, the, the park that I go walking, I love that park. It is so peaceful and, um, and there's like a nice terrain that you can walk. This doesn't have, and actually, you know what? I needed to go a little bit smaller because this is going to be sandwiched in between that bigger piece. So I just need to, I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller after this. Just so it sandwiches in between. Hey, how are you, Pam? It's Pam. If I get you wrong, I, 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 all these honeys, the honeys confuse me. I think it's pun. I think it's Pam from Australia. And I'm sorry. Brain farts to the max, ladies. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Don't forget to smack. It's Judy. Judy, I'm so sorry. Judy, you're going to smack me, and you're entitled to that. You can smack me, Judy. I'm going to put a big note on my desk. Judy is honey love, loves to craft. Big note on my desk. I don't know why I forget. I don't normally forget. I don't know why I keep forgetting. I think it's because there's so many honeys out there. I'll confuse you guys. And now I'm not the best cutter in the world. I'll be honest about that. <sighs> Judy, if you lived close to me, I'll let you smack me a couple times just for getting you all screwed up. All right, so now we're going to make this small because I really want this to sandwich in between. Um, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you'll see the witch's boot. Um, I have to redeem myself on that video, though. There's a redemption. I'm going to redeem myself. All right, so here's my muslin. And, of course, like I said, that's going to be sandwiched in because I don't want to hit the needle with all that. So let's go ahead and just fold it in half and fold it again. And I need to probably get, let me go get my other scissors that Young Sue gifted me. Hold on. These are a little bit easier to cut through piles of fabric. So let's go ahead and just trim maybe a quarter inch. Doesn't have to be so precise because it's going to be underneath all that crud. So when I say crud, it's lingo for muslin huh? or fabric or whatever I'm using. Hey, Miss Patricia. How are you, hon? So there we go. Smaller, right? Let's move that. 
We are going to use some cheesecloth, and hopefully you ha you have coffee dye your cheesecloth. All right, let's get this party started. You love my boot. Well, I'm going to redeem myself on that boot, Miss Patricia, because um, it was not the best pattern. But as soon as I get the pattern, we have we're going to have four kits of it, and we are. I'm going to put a little bit of florals in there. I realize some people might not have all the florals that I use. So we are going to throw some florals in there. So if you're interested in that kit, there's going to be four kits of that available. Uh, and you, you'll be able to make one of the boots, but you'll have the pattern that you can make the matching boot or vice versa. Um, and then once those kits are sold, then I will release it to the general public for, you know, you guys to make it. All right. So here we go. I'm just going to go like that and sandwich it in, and then we're going to take it to the sewing machine. All right. And I'm going to sew this down just so that it's not shifting or not. So glue it down. Just use Fabri-Tuck. Like I said, I got two pieces of. And guys, as Miss Patricia and I both know, you do not want to make sure if you're buying Fabri-Tuck on. Amazon and it sounds like a great deal um, Double check because it's not the legit stuff. It's not the real fabric tech That has been confirmed from um, Beacon Themselves that is not them Hey Michelle, how are you hon? How are you feeling? Feeling better? Okay. All right. So yeah, and that pattern for the the witch's boo, you can you imagine that with a jester for Christmas and just like this one here that we're doing the witch's hat. You can do this for Santa as well because you know um, old world Santa. You can make him a little hat with a bell and um, some good stuff, right? So these patterns are going to be usable for other things. Doing a bit better. Love the boot, but so excited for the witch's hat. <sighs> this is going to be beautiful. I can't wait for this one. It's like, it's like has me motivated. So, oh, and Michelle, um, we're going to, I think it's the Holiday Spirit Store or something like that. They do have the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Guys, if you guys have any Nightmare Before Christmas um, let us know. Michelle and I would like to know. Our girls are into that. Okay. There you go. Let's bring that tip. I'm not a Halloween person, but I sure do love watching you make it. Aw, Miss Carrie. Well, you know, Miss Carrie, you can take it and make um, something wonderful for Christmas. Make a gestures, boots, something wonderful for um, your decor at home, you know. Oh, I'm going to check out. Yes, there's a 20%. Hey, Miss Amy. Um, there's a 20%, Michelle. Um, we're going to go check it out um, this week because there's a 20% coupon. Um, and it's, I think 20% off your total price. So we're going to go check it out because they do have a few things of nightmare before Christmas. It's here. It's only like maybe five minutes from my house that they just opened one up. What's that spirit of Halloween? I think it's called. Mm. Looks like a pizza. I'm putting pizza. Um, yep. We're really not into Halloween, but we are into big this year. Yeah. Same here. Same here. Um, Nani has me really the last two years, actually. I didn't normally, y'all know, I didn't, I hardly ever did it. I mean, I don't think I've ever done anything Halloween-ish until uh, last year and this year. But that's all Nani's. I blame Nani for that. I am going to just dress it, but I'm, first I'm going to sew it down. So what I'm going to do is... This one, I will give you guys the pattern for it. I will scan it up. It's very simple. Actually, it's extremely simple. So, um, see my drawings. It's just 
cut it out and also I can scan it out for you guys, but that's the topper and then anything round. Hey Clint, how are you, hon? Bella's not really into it. I blame all girls. I know. I blame my girls too because I was never into decorating for Halloween either. Like that was just not, it was kind of creepy, 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 creepy. All right. So we're going to take this one down. I'm going to take both of them. I'm going to sew around here and then sew everywhere but the bottom. So basically sew, sew, turn it inside out. and. Um, we're going to do everything but the bottom because the bottom is going to be gathered. Okay. And I'm going to get some little, I don't know where my pins are. I really don't. Like everything else in this craft room, I don't know where it is. Let's turn that inside out. Well, it's going to be painted black. If you're not painting it, like if you're doing the world, old world Santa hat, like that would be really neat for Christmas. Um, a Santa hat with some Santa boots and put it by a, a dish for your grandbabies or your kids if you have little ones. My kids are too big for that, but I don't have any grandbabies. Michelle, we need to get our girls to give us some grandbabies. I don't know. We got some... Adult girls that don't want to give us. They're being selfish right now. Everybody has grandbabies but me. I'm doing a kit of the... Um, I'm doing a kit, Michelle, of the witch's boot. And then we have some Victorian shoe kit that we're doing as well. There's several little kits that's coming out. Um, let's see. So I got a video that's going to be coming out for several books kit that we're doing. And also a Victorian shoe. Now you had, when you designed for me a couple years ago, you had made one that I had designed. Um, years ago get this in here hey miss Karen how are you hon I don't have grandkids I'm 64 oh my god we need to get these kids on a roll I mean what's up with these kids not wanting to give us grandkids like really I want a grandkid I told Carla she's got she's got until I, I want to celebrate you know since I have to celebrate my big 5-0 next year I want a baby. Oh, your Victoria shoe kit was unbelievable. It was Mary Marie Antoinette. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So we have another one that's coming. And um, it's in collaboration with Karen Thompson, who's in the chat, myself, and Liz. We got several kits. Um, I think for the Victorian shoe, we're going to have about five kits. For the witch, we have four. Um, possibly, I mean, if there's more demand for it, then we can look into getting some muslin, but we have some special fabric for that. So we're estimating it's going to be um, $50 for the kit. So, yeah, no, nope. not bad. I don't think so. I've, I've gotten, I've gotten some really crappy kits out there that would, Less with less than that. All right, so I'm going to go to the sewing section here. Oh, hey Michelle, if you're feeling up to it and you want to jump in a panel, do you want to come? Um, you want to jump on the panel? Be nice to have for people to hear Michelle. I'll turn 51. I feel old. I know, Miss Carrie. <laughs> I know the feeling. I, although, you know, I'm having a do over. I'll be 48 again in December. This year never happened, so, but technically speaking, I give Carla, oh my God, Amazon's here. <laughs> $50 for a kit, you do an unbelievable for those who have never gotten a kit. Yes, 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 they're awesome kits. In the past, I've done some amazing kits, and you were um, an amazing designer for me. Oh, my husband's so great, look what he got me. Oh, I'm... 
I'm on a, I'm on, on a, a diet. You live right now? Yes, I am. Yeah. I want to put a kit together for y'all too. Okay, this is Mr. Larson. Fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. A kit. What's a kit? A surprise. It's a surprise. Yeah. We need to do an Eric but and they show. Have, they have to commit. Uh -huh. All right, because I have to get pre-orders for the fifty dollars kit uh -huh. before I send it out. And what if, what are you putting in there? It's though? a surprise. No, but I want to know what's Ooh. in that kit because you could put a bag of poo poo in there. No, I wouldn't do that. What, what are you going to put? Fly tying stuff? We no. don't do fly tying. No. What are you putting in there? It's a surprise. I want to know what you're putting in there before you... Hey, can you open one of those boxes? Because I have some bells in there that I want. Oh. Hey, can you open it and you take it from me? No, not that one. The box. Oh I know what's in here. God. Miss Patricia says, I would pay for it just to see it first. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Patricia, you know this crazy man that I am married to? You know how he is. Don't you dare touch my scissors, my fabric scissors, to open up a box. You were about to do that, weren't you? No, yes, you were. I stopped myself. Did she say poo poo? I didn't say poo poo. It's not going to be poo poo. I'm not going to go touch that crap. <laughs> no, I don't trust you with kids. Oh, okay. Maybe I got it confused. Wait a minute. One of these a folder paper. What is this? I'm looking for bells. Oh, our doilies are in for the kits. Those are tea bags. This is tea bags? How do you know? Because it says so. Where? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad, you're right. <laughs> hey, Seema. Hey, Eric, my husband. My husband would buy a fly tying kit from you. There you go, Eric. Seema's husband in Alaska. He was just in Alaska. Can you open that for me? Can you use your he muscles? He needs big flies. Can you use your muscles? Like salmon flies. He always comes in here and interrupts us. Flesh fly. Look, it's not 7 o'clock yet. <laughs> I'm going live at seven, two days in a row. Oh, by the way. We need to see Eric. You want to see Eric? You guys want to see Eric? Oh, I'm a mess. I'm a hot mess. You don't want to see Eric because, again. Eric, come over here. To see me, it's $100 per. Oh, my year. God. <laughs> Where's my bell? Why are my bells in here? Is this all you took out? Yes. What the heck? Where's my bell? They were supposed to deliver my bells. I need it for my kids. Uh, well, I guess they're not here. Damn. Guess she ain't jingling nothing. She's jingling that in front of y'all's faces now. I want to see you. Lynn Cod and have a uh, Lynn Cod, halibut. Ooh, I can't. Catching up. Halibut on a fly. Yeah. Good God. I was with a guy who caught a 77-pound halibut, and he struggled. Okay, stand over here. They want to see you. Guys, I'm a hot mess. I was working out. Do not judge me, okay, because I am. Want they want to see your face. <laughs> I, get, I can't. Witness protection? Witness? <laughs> oh, my God. Get over here, you crazy nut. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> Stand over here behind the desk. Okay, you guys ready? No, sit. <laughs> no, get over here. Don't be rude to the ladies. Hold on. Hold on. They didn't see you. They didn't How's that see being rude? I can't see them. So why can they see me? They didn't see you. No, sit down. They I didn't see you. I can't see them. Sit. I can't see them. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Uh, I feel like I'm on. Hmm. <laughs> okay, now Nani's face needs to cover up that face. <laughs> Put that back. What are we creating? A witch's hat. What are you making? Nothing. 
I don't normally wear shorts, guys, either. <laughs> I was working out. You're not making nothing? No fly time? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. My, my, my $50 kit is a surprise. What are they saying? You're beautiful, man. Oh, I'm a mess. I was working out. I don't normally wear shorts. I don't know who this E-R-I-C you speak of is. <laughs> hmm. He looks like your dad. Hey, Eric, are you, ha, have you said, have you done something you haven't told me about? <laughs> Again, who is this E-R-I-C fella? I don't know. It's you. Oh, uh, I'm not yours. <laughs> They're all saying hello, Eric. Hold on. I changed cameras. Enough of my ugly mug. All right. There we go. Back to the work. He's going to catch the giggles now. I think, you know what? Um, oh, thank you, Miss Patricia. You know what? I think since he's been recording all these videos for his fly fishing guys. I don't record anything. Oh, you go live. I'm sorry. He thinks that now he is the man on camera. Yeah. Heck yeah. I get eight people in my class. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Kilian. You're so sweet. Uh, thank you, Ms. Carey. And Eric, they said you're handsome. Oh, my God. I think they're over-exaggerating. <laughs> they need to get the glasses checked. <laughs> Glaucoma, cataracts. Oh, my God. Did you guys hear him? He, um, you guys are entitled. I'll give you guys permission to go beat his butt. <laughs> okay. Let me go. I'm going to sew, and then um, I'll be back. Don't forget, if you guys have not smacked that thumbs, please do so. That helps the algorithm. All right, let's do this, guys. Hey, someone. Who's – hey, wait a minute. Who's – Hello, Miss Sheila. Hello, hello. Hold on a second. I'm going to turn around. If you guys don't hear me talking, let me see if Mr. Larson will come up. Hey, Eric. Eric. What? Come up here and entertain the ladies while I'm sewing. Huh? Entertain the ladies while I am sewing. Do you know what that means? I got a joke for them. Okay, well then tell them a joke. I'm sure they would love to hear what you have to say. All right. Sit in front of the so, camera. The camera's down. Show them your hands. Why do I got to show them my hands? So that they see that they're talking to you. Hello. How are you today? I am I. Today, we are going to talk about the evolution of May destroying sewing machines. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> How many machines have I destroyed in your, in, your, in your accounts? I have lost track of how many machines May has destroyed. <laughs> You see, I bought a very expensive one for her. <laughs> she destroyed it within a day. <laughs> I am not very happy with her destroying that machine that fast. For you see, she is not allowed to touch technology because she will destroy it. Oh my God, Eric. <laughs> you told me to show my hands. <laughs> Oh, God. Where is the machine now? Do you know? Do you even know? I got no idea where that machine is now. It's here. It's in the shelf over there. It, well, it, it was in the shelf. Yeah, it's down there. Is it in the repair shelf? In the repair. <laughs> I can't get I it. I don't. Up. The antiquities and stuff maze destroyed. <laughs> all right. I got a joke for y'all. How do y'all make uh, holy water? I'll wait for some responses before I give the answer. So how do you make holy water? I 
Are you responding to your crazy non-shenanigans? No. You both have very youthful looking hands. Okay, how do you make it? You boil the hell out of it. <laughs> hey, what was the favorite the favorite thing that Miss Patricia um said that had you cracking? And Miss Patricia's there. <laughs> no. Um yeah, so this look of my very youthful hand, um, no. This hand has had two surgeries on it. It's about to have a third surgery on it, um, and it barely moves. What's your favorite story from Miss Patricia? Uh, we don't want to go back to that. Why? Um, had you crack it up, huh? I think she broke the sewing machine too. No, I didn't. I'm trying to thread it. Well, I can't see. God, we'll be here forever waiting for her to thread this needle, folks. Oh my God. Um, so, where y'all from? <laughs> you come here often? <laughs> Only when you let me do videos. Oh, take it from the church. That is thievery. Okay, no, I guess you can't take it from the church. That's what they have the big bucket for. With the spigot. <sighs> Decatur, Illinois. Decatur. I haven't been to Illinois in a while. We drove right by it real fast, uh, huh? Michigan. Michigan, California, Montana, Patricia Wu will be visiting you shortly. <laughs> East Tennessee, I just watched a pretty good fishing tournament there. We'll be visiting you shortly as well. Um, <laughs> Michigan, I know you got some amazing small bass fisheries. Uh, Kentucky, we're going to go fishing or hunting. You got a good elk population there now. You're, you're just inviting yourself over to these ladies' houses? Yeah, Carol, I always go to Wyoming, especially wherever you are, because uh, I love Fort Bridger. Oh, Miss Carol, you're joining us. So <laughs> glad you're joining us. Illinois, I've actually been to Illinois and hunted in Illinois. You have? When? Um... That trip I went on, the turkey hunt, oh. was on the border of Mass uh, Massachusetts, uh, Missouri, and Illinois. Wow. We can go visit everybody. He's just inviting himself. Do you guys like how he's doing that? Like, who invited you to go to their houses? What if they don't want you to go to their houses? Huh? Do you just do that? They don't have to have me go to their house. I just want to go to their states and do some hunting and fishing. Oh. Bow season. That's I would. I haven't hunted with a bow. I actually used to be really, really good with a bow. Uh, but after my hand and shoulders all messed up, I have a hard time holding the bow. I'd have to go to a crossbow. He's lying to you guys, guys. Don't believe everything he says. I'm not lying about nothing. I am doing Craft Live today. And today, we're going to see how mad I can get May by cutting things with the wrong scissors. Uh -uh. So we're going to take these fabric scissors and see if they cut through a pencil. Go ahead. You're going to be replacing it how many times? How many times do you have to replace something when you break it? Oh no, did I not take uh um did I not take a bunch of these over and sharpen them? Yeah, you ruined a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Quiet silence, huh? Hey, no, I'm reading because uh I'm getting invited to go fishing. Uh um he likes to eat, guys. Camping. Oh, we got private hunting area. Oh, deer and turkey. All right. <laughs> you guys don't know what you guys are inviting over. All right. 
Uh, Carol, do you fish the Green River or do you go over and fish the Bear River? How many calories are in here? I can't see. Zero. Zero calorie. Oh. You can't see that big zero on there? No, I'm so blinded by your beauty. <laughs> Isn't everybody? <laughs> Is that just the light shining off your bald head? It's your, the light shining off your bald head. <laughs> all right. I'll turn you all back over to me. Sorry. That was crafting with Eric. I apologize for the rest of the evening. <laughs> Please stay. Entertain her. Why? Why do they have to entertain you? What do you have going on downstairs? Nothing. You need, I'm you just saying. Entertain. They, they, because I'm leaving, so a lot of them are going to get off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did you guys hear? He, you got <laughs> is your ego. Did it smack you on the way out or on the way in? I ate my ego for breakfast. His ego. <laughs> you guys are all going to leave because he's now left the room. Oh, my gosh. I think... <laughs> I think I think that um, him and video recording has gotten to his head. Don't tell me to come up and entertain people. Because <laughs> you obviously didn't see the hand puppet talk, did you? <laughs> yeah, you're telling them that I ruined sewing machines. For that, just for that, you're going to have to buy. Oh, I forgot to put the wire. Damn it. Uh -huh. See, you entertain me, Eric. So anyway, in... Um, in a world where we don't have Eric, <laughs> we would have put wire in there, and I totally spaced it out. But on the next one, you know, see what see what happens when Eric's around me. He just kind of. Um, so sandwich in, glue in. You guys saw how I did that. Nothing new, seriously. But he got me so frazzled. Guys, see what my husband does to me. All right. You want to distress this is good. A private bull elk hunting hubby has hunted for years. Won't even tell the son-in-laws. All right. So, oh, look at that. Well, you know what? Because I skipped a whole little, hmm, I wonder. Look at that. I skipped a whole little section. I was wondering if I could put in my thingy in there. Just just put a hole. That's right. I could do that. But right here, look, I skipped it for a reason. See? Remember, I glued it down, too. But that's all right. We're just going to stick some of these suckers in there. You really want to go around the whole hat just to get it to shape around, but he got me so frazzled, guys. See what he does to me? Oh, bugger. Never fails when Eric Larson's around. Right. Hold on. Let's get some of this removed. It's probably not going to be the best, but it's going to still be able to shape up somehow or another. Eric Larson, you see what you made me do? What are you coming back upstairs I'm not for? Here. I lost my drink. What did? You, what was your drink like? Coffee? No, it's one behind you. He came back. He likes the abuse of the crafting ladies. And the cat came back the very next day. He really does enjoy you, ladies. You put food on our table. I thank you. I move my camera down. Yep, hold on. Oh, you guys hear what he says? You put food on our table. I thank you. Oh my God. Hold on, let's see. All 
There, is that better? I was laughing so hard I almost peed my, oh, don't do that, Clint. No peeing. We'll have to get you some Depends. Let's see. I would have really wished I had gotten that wire, but see, even there, I can get it shaped up. So that's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Now we're going to turn this baby inside out. And for that, I had some forceps, but you know, sometimes forceps, there are some people in my house and I don't want to say too many names, but his name began with the um, letter E, tends to take, um, my forceps, he has my big one downstairs, I don't know why, but he does, guys, I need to have a talk with that man, that man I married, I'll tell you, keeps it interesting, that's for sure. That circle makes me think of tacos. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can see right there I have a hole, so I'm gonna have to stitch it. That's okay because I have to stitch the um the bell on here. So I'm not the best sewer, guys. I am not. But it works. Little curve, there is a curve there, but I can't get it in. Let's sew that in, which was good that I missed that little. It's making you hungry for tacos. It looks like, to me, it looks like pizza thingy, you know, like pizza or a pancake. Oh, I love pancakes. Let's not talk about pancakes because I love pancakes. I love pancakes. It's cold. Mommy's saying it's cold outside. It was hot when I was walking. These shoes are made for walking. It's so cold out there. All right, so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch it, but I'm going to stitch it with a bell because I have a bell that's going to go there. All right. Oh, it's not going to be big enough for a hat. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use some polyfill. Pancakes with peanut butter. Mmm. A mosquito bite. Pancakes with peanut butter. Yum, yum. Peanut butter is yum, yum. I've been craving some peanut butter um, and jelly sandwiches, and I made some um, homemade jelly. Some strawberries you picked up. I can some jelly. I guess that's what I should have said. You don't want to put too much on your tip because that tip has to literally be able to fold. So don't stuff that tip too much. I mean, put enough in there, but not too much. You have to fold that tip. Grab some paintbrushes or something thin that you can kind of push in there. PJ, oh, you know, but I, the problem with me with peanut butter jelly sandwiches is that I have to have a coat and I don't drink soft drinks anymore. So that's a problem, right? I don't want to stuff it in there too hard. It becomes a problem. You don't want to tighten it up in here too much, but you want it somewhat of a wonkiness. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Hey, Liz, how are you? How are you? Hey, Miss Jean. 
How are you? I've been wanting pancakes for weeks, so I need to have some soon. I have been wanting pancakes too. And you know, breakfast for dinner, it's like the best. Again, you don't, you want to see how I have some spots there. You want it a little wonky because um, she's got to be a little wonky. This hat has to be a little wonky. She's got, so don't overstuff her like you would with the shoes. Oh, I had French toast my sweetheart made for me this morning. Oh, God, that sounds yummy. Yummy, yummy. Let's get sewing needle. We got to get a sewing needle. I had my needle here with Belle. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell, my bell. Ring a ding a ding. What are you doing? This is too thin. Let's do this one. I think that one's too thick. Na na, nice to see you. Na 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 na. Nani, oh, she's downstairs. You hear her because I I moved the craft room, uh, Miss Patricia. But Nani is actually downstairs. She's not upstairs. Nani, they're saying hi to you. She probably doesn't hear me. Brianna, they were saying hi to you. Say hi to Miss Patricia. Oh hi. They can hear your big mouth. What was it you were saying when you were at Walmart? You can tell when it's a Puerto Rican in there because they're loud. Yeah. Oh, that one's rotted. We don't want to do that. Let's go with this one. We're going to do a running stitch now. So you need to thread a needle. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So again, we don't want it too wonky and you want it kind of a little not so stuff a little wonky but that's okay cuz i'm wonky myself i'll tell you some days i question myself there you go so she's got to be a little bit on the wonky side of life so that she's a little loopsy loopsy I bought sunflower butter. Oh my gosh, so yummy. Sunflower butter. Mm, never had that. Oh, put pipe cleaner. The tip so you can then a pipe cleaner. I don't have a pipe cleaner. Um, we have a wire. We could probably put the wire in there, huh? Right? We should do that. Let's put a wire in there. Let's put a wire in there. I made some really good chicken soup the other day for my mom's birthday and we've been kind of today because I made a big old pot of it so that's what we've been kind of eating hey Miss Patricia I mean Miss Teresa Miss Karen Montoya Kilburn huh Denise have you tried honey butter by land oh I've never tried that floral wire yeah I have floral wire in there um looks like she's got something sticking out of this booty but again, you don't want it too stuff. Let's put that floral wire in the center of all the um, polyfill so that it kind of matches in there and bends. I need I need that for my groom. 
my gnome hat and it worked good. Oh, you did that for your gnome. Yeah, you did really nice gnomes last year. Is that the is that still the um the big trend this year? Again, it's to taste how you want um how wonky you want that base to be. But you don't want to stuff it too much because it really needs to be a little bit wonky. But the only time we allow wonky. Okay, so let's go ahead and I thought I thought I thought I thought I threaded my needle. May I loved your finished book. Oh thank you. Hi Christina. Christina. Uh, uh, Christina. Who's Christina? Hello Christina. I don't see a Christina but hello. Hello 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 and welcome. Like I said we're gonna have four kits for the witches boots. We decided But we decided that we'll put a little bit of the uh, moss in there. No polyfill, of course. Um, a little moss. Okay, so we're just going to go in here and do a quick running stitch and gather it. I don't see Christina. Who's Christina? I don't see a Christina. I don't know who that is, guys. Who's Christina? Christina. Oh, cr oh creative art. Okay, did I? Is, okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha to see her. Hello, Miss Christina. I have to remember. Um, I've been really bad because Honey loves to craft um, is Judy. And um, there's Honey Bee Craft, which is Pam. And then there's Honey Bee something, which is Debbie. But it's brain fart moments, guys. You can make your hat just a bit bigger if you want. Just triangles and, you know, it doesn't have to be anything amazingly. Um, you can make them big or small. Whatever suits your boat. Yeah. We're going to um, attach this to the, the pizza. Or the taco, as Miss Patricia wanted to say. Base. She thought it was a taco. It was making her hungry. Hey, Miss Linda, how are you, hun? Long time no see. Uh, Gillian. Hi, Gillian. I don't know who Gillian either is, but I guess you guys know, as long as you guys know who they are. Okay, all right, let's gather this up and... You wanna make sure you have good thread. You don't want one that's gonna pop while you're trying to pull, you know? Oh, look at that. She's wonky. A wonky tip. Perfect. And this is how you would also make a head. That's how we did the, the snowman last time. 
Hey, Miss Beverly, how are you? Guys, you guys can hear my husband downstairs having a conversation. Huh? All right, there we go. So now what we're going to do, this will go and it's going to be sewn here like so um, on this which is hot. You're probably saying, why do you have such a big base? But we're going to be decorating some of this here. And this has to be stitched um, down at the bottom to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our paint and we're going to um, I'm gonna leave my, my needle attached still there. Move this over. Move all this stuff. We've magically made a pew, I guess. Um, that. That. Okay. Don't need the pencil anymore, so we can get rid of that. So let's get our um, our paint. And this is the messy part, guys. It really is. I'm going to water this paint just a tad bit. More imagination with the tilt. Okay, let's water this down a little bit because it was too thick yesterday. And you really don't need, I don't know if that's too much water. You really don't need that much, that thickness it makes it harder to sand down. We will need some sanding. I'm trying to think, what can I mix it in? Oh, here. How thick that is? Holy moly. That's some thick chalk paint. Accident ready to happen, right? Yes, two. Please give May's video. Oh, thank you, Miss Liz. I don't know if you wanted to come in the channel. I did ask you earlier because I wasn't sure if you wanted to come in. But if you want to come in, you're welcome to. I'm Picasso putting in my, my signature in there. Look at that, Picasso. Larson. I could have gotten a bigger paintbrush, but I'm too lazy to get up. Y'all know me. I'm a lazy crafter. I take proud ownership of that title. I 
proud of it. Oh, I could have mixed it right on the lid, too. You seem to have peaceful today. You want Miss Chaos to join you? Why not? I don't think you're more chaotic than I am. May I would have a big fat paintbrush. Yes, you. I know. And see, see, Miss Carrie, it's just that May Larson is like a very lazy, and I do have one right here. I'm just being really lazy because that would mean that I would have to get a bigger like dipping thingy. <sighs> Miss Carrie. Miss Carrie. I proudly own that title of um, lazy crafter. I'm too lazy. If there was um, another title, I need to water that down. It's still a little bit thick. I guess by... Uh, by all means, by all means, you know, let's just pour it right in there, right? Stop being lazy. I guess I could go and um, get my big paintbrush. Sure, Liz. Yes, send a link. Okay, hold on. I don't understand this new damn Facebook crap, you know? I don't know why, 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 why did they change it? It didn't, they didn't have to change it. They could have just left it like that. But no, they had to go screw it up. All right, where's my keyboard? All right, while Liz comes in, I'm going to go to the bathroom and get a big paintbrush because I need a big paintbrush. Well, I find every brush, but what I need to find, I don't know, this one's kind of dry. Ugh. I don't want that one, because that's a stenciling brush. That one's all messed up. Well, I guess we're gonna keep working with what we have, because I need to go buy a paintbrush. There we go. Hello, Liz. Hello, everyone. Yvonne and Patricia. I stay off if only negative stuff is on Facebook. Negative stuff on Facebook? What? There's no such thing as negative stuff on Facebook. Are you kidding? You're imagining things, Denise. I'm imagining things. <laughs> Oh my God, there's no such thing. I never heard of anything like that. Hi, Carrie. No such thing as negative stuff on Facebook. Come on now. Teresa, I know. I think I think she must be talking about another social media platform. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think she's dreaming, guys. What do you think? I think she's still dreaming. <laughs> Yvonne. Miss Teresa, I saw your picture of your dolls yesterday. I didn't. I didn't see any pictures of her dolls. Where did she post them? Last night she, um, well, you have to go into her photos, and she has uh her Elvis right above her bed. She's got creepy dolls. Well, they're not creepy to me, but to you, that would be creepy. 
I gotta go see. Hold on. We gotta be They're big. We're gonna be nosy and stalk Miss Teresa. Let's go stalk her. Let's take y'all wanna go stalk Miss Teresa. Let's stalk her, guys. I'm gonna share the screen. We're gonna stalk Miss Teresa. Is that okay, Miss Teresa? We stalk you. First of all, let me ask you. <laughs> Some people don't like that. Oh, I'm sure she'll be okay with it because it's on her Facebook. But yeah, let her answer. It's a very pretty room. No, no creepy dolls. <laughs> They're not creepy to me. I mean, I don't find dolls creepy, so. Oh, y'all need to be on. You guys need to watch when I do my bottle dolls. Oh, my God. In fact, we should make a bottle doll. Oh, my God. Carrie wants to see. Yes, come on down. Laugh out loud. You're welcomed. She okay, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go stop Teresa. All right. Oh, I want to go. Can you guys see Ms. my Teresa screen? must be very much into shabby chic though. Oh wait, how do we look on the new Facebook? Teresa. Can you guys see it? No, it's not showing. Oh. Can you see it now? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm watching you on StreamYard. I'm not watching on YouTube, so it might be on YouTube. Let me close this and see. Can you see it? Oh, that's her right here. This new Facebook is a pain in the booty. Can you guys see her? Where is it? Miss Patricia, where is it? There's Elvis, there's her man. Aw, her mama. Aw, where is it? I don't see it. Yeah, me too, Teresa. Where is it? They should have kept it alone. <clears throat> this, uh, did she post it in a group? In your group, maybe? If I don't see it on her Facebook. I don't see it on her Facebook. She had trouble sharing a picture the other day, too, from Facebook. Let's see if she can get it. All right. <clears throat> oh, well, I guess I wasn't sharing anyway. <laughs> I can't share. It's not letting me share. Anyway, we'll have to do it again. It's, it's just like showing. I don't download something. Sorry, guys. It's not letting me do it. Miss Teresa, you lucked out this time. My son is having, uh, oh God, look at that. He's, college is different from high school, that's for sure. So he's learning that you cannot be, you have to cite your work. You guys hear my husband? He's telling my, he's giving my son a lecture about writing papers. I had to leave and come back out. I couldn't hear you. Um, was that, did Nana, was Nana here? I didn't see Nana earlier. I thought I saw Nana. I don't see her now. I came in late, so I don't know. Okay, 
I don't know if I can show. I'll probably have to bring it on my phone. And the phone's downstairs, Miss Teresa. Sheila. Keep me from getting my fingers dirty. And go in between the chalk paint and water, dipping it in here. Unless there's another one I haven't seen. Miss Sheila says, I'm here unless there's another one I haven't seen. Of what? Because you said Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to mute you one second, okay? Okay. Talk to my daughter. Let's dry this baby up. So anyway, these are my nice, I love these, tropical. <coughs> They're so good. So, so good. What so, is that? We're going to crack into this sucker. Oh, another Nana. No, I haven't seen any Nana. Penny is here. Hey, Miss Penny. I got a mouthful of uh, Walmart packaging in my mouth. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to crack open my bag of tropical mix. Mm, these are so good. I like the papayas in there. Look at that. Yummy. Yummy. You guys don't have a Walmart in New York, do you? And I don't have any, no. They tried to bring one here to Staten Island, but people protested. It's like, how do you pro protest Why something that bring jobs? Protest something that's good for you. Exactly. Guys, smack the thumbs. And to those of you guys that left me a comment yesterday, I appreciate your comment. I'm going to start challenging you guys on these comments. And every now and then, if you leave me a comment, I think what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to randomly select someone that's left me a comment and send them something. Oh, that's That'll a good encourage idea. you guys to leave me a comment after the video. Oh, my goodness. She sent you a picture and she had... Oh, my God. I have to see these. She What's has that? everywhere, she says. Teresa. Hold on. She sent me a picture, guys. I got to look at this. Hold on. You know, at one time I had over a hundred dolls. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, your room is really country-like. Hold on, I'm trying to open it up bigger. Oh, that looks like the comforter I had bought Carla. When she was little. Aww. And her man sleeping above her head, looking over her. <laughs> Aww. She loves her Elvis. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. He watches her. He's Daddy wants to her. see. Patricia wants to see. I know. I want. I need to figure out what I need to do to share. Hold on. She's trying Where's to figure them? it out. Hi, Penny. Um. <laughs> Thank you. 
Can you guys see my computer? No. This Chrome has lost permission to capture your screen. Follow these steps. Let's see what the steps are. Oh my God. Private system preference, security, and privacy. Check privacy. Oh Lord. How the hell do I do that? System preference. Let's see. Some pressure security. Let's see what that um, privacy screen recording. Privacy screen recording. Uh, guys, I have a. Oh, there's another Elvis lover in the house. Yeah, Miss Patricia. No, Miss Carrie, too. So oh, my three. God. They're going to be fighting over that man. That man don't even know he still breaks heart. Screen recording. What's fine? Patricia says you burnt a taco. <laughs> I just typed that in. I got to look for it. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to. We'll let that dry for a little bit. Screen recording. <laughs> Teresa, that is quite a collection. Jesus, dolls, and Elvis. Hold on, guys. <laughs> System preference security. Not letting me do it. Installing this update? No, I don't want to install nothing right now. It's not happening. Well, guys, I don't think this is working because I'm not very computer savvy. I have no idea. What Facebook makes everything harder now. Yeah. Because it's a, I'm on the Mac. It's not letting me share Facebook. Because even now to create, make the events, did you see the, all the steps you have to do now? Yeah, I have that new, that new system that they have. Yeah. I can't figure it out, Miss Patricia, Miss Teresa. But... We we'll surely try to figure it out. At some point, I'll try to figure out. Ooh, really want to tell me is? Oh my god! That is cool. That is so cool. You see, a grandson died. That was so sad. Your only grandson. Mm -hmm. Let me be your neighbor, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> How far are you from it, Miss Penny?
I was just thinking about you today, Miss Penny. I was thinking about Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. <laughs> Is that right? Did I get them right this time? Because I'm always sprinting out of. Yes. How far do you live from it, Miss Penny? She said no, no, no. He was on the other end of the state. I visited and it never gets old. Oh, she doesn't live closer. She's just saying she lives in the same state. Oh, as oh, oh. Is. Well, you were about to have some ladies come and pay you a visit. No kidding. Teresa was ready. She was like, let me be your neighbor. She said, road trip. Uh, yeah, wasn't he from Nashville? Didn't he live in Nashville? I thought he lived in Nashville. I picked through the year at here and grabbed the papayas. Memphis, Memphis. He's from That's Memphis. Right. <laughs> Teresa says, still close enough to me, Miss Penny. <laughs> she don't care. It's the same state. That's all that matters. I wonder if anyone's ever tried to break into it. Miss Joyce lives um, 18 years ago. She lived in Memphis. Oh, wow. <laughs> May and Liz, you're welcome. To I will share it later, Miss um, Miss Teresa. I'll make sure I share your. They're not really creepy. They're actually pretty dolls. I used to collect dolls like that when I was younger. At one time, I had over a hundred dolls. Because um, I kept saying I didn't want any kids. I wanted just dolls, and I didn't have dolls growing up, so. When I was able to buy my dolls as an adult, I bought a lot of them. Then Carla came along and I got rid of them. There's so many people that are afraid of dolls. Even if they don't look creepy, they just don't like them. They creep them out. When I started collecting them again, but the kids are creeped out about it. And we started watching Annabelle. And that really just kind of made a, uh-uh. I went oh, to Penny school. says that. There is no way it's heavily guarded. Wow, heavily guarded. Wow. Rajul says, Good evening, Miss May, and everyone in chat. Good evening, Rajul. Miss Rajul, I left your message. I want to try to call you tomorrow. How are you? I know women would ship themselves in crates to his house. I don't think I would want to be shipped in a crate. I know that's so dangerous. You know he's someone buried tried there? Penny he says he's buried there. Huh? Penny said he's buried there. Really? Wow. I mean that place is haunted as hell. Some people were swimming in the pool once. Wow. I wonder why his daughter doesn't live in it. Be rent free, right? Do they keep? Do they maintain it? Like really? Like yeah, to how it, you had it, it was you made into a museum. It's a museum, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rajul says, um, "I'm fine. Call me Tuesday. I am on my on the way to Austin." To Austin, I will do was... that, Rajul, because this is an important call. Very. And I think you're the only one that can help me with that. I agree. <laughs> she sold the rights, says Penny. She sold her rights? Why would you do something crazy like that? Maybe she didn't want to live in the house where her dad died. 
I would never get rid of that house. <laughs> yeah. No way. Oh, yeah. His daughter lives in California. She was living in the UK, says Teresa. Oh, that's right, because she wasn't she married from somebody from the UK? Yeah. Money. Money, yeah. Money's a root of all evil. Oh yeah, I'm sure too. Penny, um, Penny says um she still gets royalties. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that that mansion must make tons of money. I wonder if Lisa Marie gets. I'm not Lisa. Um, what was his wife name? Um, Priscilla. Priscilla. I think she does. She still goes for holidays and stays in the home, but that's it. Okay, Rajul said, call me on Tuesday. I am on the road, left from Florida, and be in Austin tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. I will do that. I need to talk to you. It's important. Well, I mean, it's not that important, but <laughs> it's crafty important, Rajul. Crafty important, okay? Just know that it's crappy important. Everything crafty is important. It keeps us happy. Gets a piece of that pie. Hmm. Can you imagine being being the only child born to the king of rock? And his grandson looks so much like him. Gosh. So here's a question I have for you, uh, Elvis lovers. So he had light colored hair growing up. How did, did he dye his hair black? Teresa collected dolls. Um, I collected dolls also. I have a large, gorgeous porcelain doll in three curios, curios cabinets, and I ran out of room. So my mom has a lot of at her house. Wow, Carrie, one of my dolls stands taller than me. Oh my God. <clears throat> Five, three. Here's a question. I asked a question. So, did he? So he dyed his hair. He dyed. He colored it black because he had light colored hair. I mean, he was like blonde, wasn't it? What nationality? I mean, what background was he? Was he like Italian or what? Or just a hillbilly from Tennessee? I don't know much about Elvis other than, you know, I was too little when he died. Mm, I think said, um, Miss, I will wait for call on Tuesday. Yes, Rajul, I will be calling you, my friend. Patricia said, yes, he kept his hair black. Patricia's another Elvis lover. Yeah. He grew up in Mississippi, says um, Penny and Joyce. Oh, so he was from Mississippi, not Tennessee. Talk 
Teresa said um, his mom was Indian and Jewish. His dad was Irish. Oh, wow. That's a mix. That's a huge mix, yeah. No, he had the, the dark hair probably from the natives, the Indian, native Indian side. That's where he had his cheekbones from. He was a handsome man. That he was, my friends. This is a tedious job because I have a small paintbrush. Let me find another bigger paintbrush, guys, because this is going to take forever and 20 years. Let's go with the foam brush. I didn't want to use it, but we're going to have to. This is taking forever. You don't want to be here forever. Patricia said, I remember I was cleaning out my fridge when on the radio came the announcement that Elvis had died. I just sank to the floor and and crying my eyes out. Oh, I remember I was sitting in the steps. We had just visited my grandmother. And I was sitting in the steps to my aunt's apartment. And um, my cousin ran in with a newspaper that came in and said that Elvis had died. I didn't know who he was. When but he passed away. I knew my sister was so heartbroken. She was this little girl. She was just like, now I'm never going to be able to marry him. Your sister said that? <laughs> yeah, we, we were little, though, when he passed. We were getting ready for school, and she was so upset. <laughs> he was single, right, when he died? He was dating somebody. He was um, with someone, I think. But it didn't work out with him and Patricia. I mean, Patricia, mm -hmm. listen to me. Patricia, you were with you at Priscilla, yeah. You would have wished you were married to him, huh? In spirit, you were married to him. How's that? Jesus, says he broke a lot of hearts. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, Patricia, I'll never forget that day. I walked in and my mom was crying and asked her what was wrong. And all she could do was point at, to the TV. Oh. He would be 83 today. Oh, wow. He broke lots of hearts. Well, so you know, my mom. he didn't break my heart because I really was too little. Don't break my heart. My achy, achy heart was in that. That's not him. That was, uh, who was that? Uh, Miley Ray Cyrus, Billy Ray Cyrus. Mm -hmm. Don't break my heart. My achy, achy heart. He's hottie, too. I think he's cute. I think he's cute. All right, I'm trying to... A, I was not an Elvis fan. You weren't? I love no. watching Elvis movies growing up. Him and Jerry Lewis. Um, I like watching them. I was not a fan. We watched um, his movies and stuff because, you know, my mom, my sister, my little sister would watch them. But I wasn't a fan. Gomer Pyle, Gomer Pyle. I don't remember Gomer Pyle. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Gee, May, you couldn't have not served us, uh, you know, made this little easier and just, you know. He was in 83 today. Who was? That's what um. Dean Teresa Martin. Said. Oh, I like Dean Martin too. Linda says he would have been 83 today. If Teresa says a pretty 83, I might add. <laughs> today was his birthday? I guess so. Wow. Beautiful things were made in September. My mom was made in September. Carrie likes his movies. I liked his movies, too. I did watch a lot of his movies growing up. They used to have a marathon where it would be a month. There was a month where every day they played Elvis Odin reruns. reruns. 
I liked him when he was younger. His good looking years. He got older. I'm sorry. He just got a little bit chunky for me. Yeah. Patricia so um says I didn't like the movies I was was in, but I favored his gospel songs. I liked uh, I liked his movies. <laughs> Teresa. She said, Me too, Patricia. And my mom told me to sit down and watch it. <laughs> He was your mom's age, right? Um, that makes sense because he would have been. Um, yeah, mom. He, my mom would have been was would have been eighty three this year. Your mom? Yeah. Wow. My mom just turned seventy one. She was young. Oh, then he's if he was born in thirty three, he's older than eighty three. Because. My mom was in well in 37 and she would have been 83. Yeah, he's got to be 83, 90, 83, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93, 2003, 2013. And uh, yeah, he's he 87. 87. Holy cow, 87. Imagine that. How old is his daughter? She's almost my age, isn't she? She, she had her up in age. How old is um, Priscilla? I'm sorry, she's age. She's aged pretty bad. Pris she's done so much plastic work on her face. Yeah, all that plastic. When you start doing all that plat that mm -hmm. plastic, you just kind of looks so damn bad. She was born in 1935, so. Who was? Priscilla. That's, oh, she was only um, two years older than him? That's what Teresa is saying. Lisa Marie is 52. Yeah, she is. I know oh, she's she closer to my age. So oh, yeah, he they did mess up her face. She's in one of the Hallmark movies, and I'm like, oh my god, because they have done two movies in the in the Elvis Presley mansion. Um. So Priscilla was, or he was thirty thirty five when he had her. Or, yeah, thirty five when he had uh, Lisa, and Priscilla was young. Priscilla is 75. So she was 12 years older than her. Okay, so Teresa's saying no. Elvis was born in 1935. Okay, you know what? How about I just look it up and see? Let's clarify this. So that makes him 85. 75. Okay, he was 42 when he died, it says. Oh, he was young. Gosh, darn it. And he, was, he was born. He was in his primes. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. That's when you're just learning about life. Cause you, when you think about it, when you're in your twenties, you really don't know much about life. When you're in your thirties, you're just starting to learn about life. And then when you're in your forties, it's when you already got it down somewhat's packed, you know? Mm -hmm. He was born January 8th, 1935, and he has a twin brother. Yeah, he was a twin. He was still born. No, I thought his brother died. No, it says here his twin brother, Jesse Guerin, was still born, leaving Elvis to grow up as an only child. Oh. I know he was a twin. And now, let's find out about Miss Priscilla Presley. OK, 
Okay, Priscilla Presley is 75. She was born May 24th, 1945. She looks awful. Yeah, she does all that damn plastic surgery shit that she be getting, you know. Just like, you know, Kenny Rogers was a good looking man. He just ruined his face when he started trying to look young to press mm -hmm. his wife with all that plastic surgery crap. He looked bad. All right, dry time. Now, I Miss Joyce. It was in the 70s because I remember I was visiting my grandmother's um, and my mom and dad weren't divorced yet. And I just, I was playing up in the stairs going up to my aunt's apartment when my cousin came in with the newspaper, my cousin Isabel. I understand what's all the, the thing about it was, but I just remember that he was dead. Seventy-two or seventy-seven? No, I seventy-two. I was too little. I would have been one. I remember being little, but my mom and dad weren't divorced yet. Yeah, they say that he used his uh, brother. They were saying he was still alive. I don't think so. Why would you? I mean, he would have made a, an appearance when his daughter had started having kids. You would have think he would have made some type of appearance. Oh, you didn't have any kids then. He was constipated from drugs and was on the toilet and pushing and his and his aneurysm burst in his stomach and that's what killed him. I thought it was on drugs. And some overdose. Teresa read an article that was at the National Enquirer. <laughs> Oh, Liz, are you on here twice? Liz, did you know that? I got kicked out. Oh. Okay, let me remove this one. Are you there? You there? <clears throat> okay. <coughs> I yeah, think no, Elvis my dad fought on my dad. The, the, the live and kicked me out for not liking his movies or him. That's my dad's birthday, January 8th. Hmm. He had drugs in his system. Did they determine what kind of drugs he died from? Guys, if you're coming in, don't forget to smack that thumbs. Give me um, a thumbs up. And I had said, if you leave a comment at the end, I'm going to try to start picking um, one person at least once a month from the chats that leaves me a comment to get something, whether it's something small or whatever it is I send, is something random as a thank you for leaving a comment. And that will be to encourage you guys to leave comments because comments is what makes our channels um, algorithm work.
There was a lot in this system, really. You're the only one with Percocets. One thumbs up, that's it, really. I have 19 people watching and only one thumbs up. Come on, guys. Smart that thumb. As Lulu would say, or Lourdes, Nena Sardoval, show the lady, um, what did she say? Show the most, the hostess, the most is something like this, she says. I can't get it right, but I tried. Oh, you see 23 thumbs up? Okay. My bad. Thank you for those of you guys that gave me a thumbs up. I appreciate that thumb. Two just left. make some Halloween bottles. It's, Halloween is only a month away and I have not gotten into, I don't, the only decor, decor I have for Halloween right now is the witch's boot. I haven't really put anything out. Come back, girls, no more Elvis, I promise. Come back, come back. You can't hear, oh, you're back, hold on. There's two of you, Liz. Which one am I supposed to remove? Talk on that one, let me see. I can't hear you either, if you're talking. Ooh, I like it when it's stiff. Look at how stiff that is, that is so stiff. I, I don't do anything for Halloween. I don't even buy candy this year with COVID. Oh, no, I'm not buying candy either. I don't want no little kids coming up to my door with COVID. Heck no. Uh-uh. Kids are the biggest germ spreaders in, out there. May Cooper has his haunted house out. Aww. Y'all remember my little S SVG file that I made for the haunted house? That's what Miss Penny's talking about. But he does make an appearance every day on my Facebook wall. He's singing to you. The hostess with the mostess. Hey, Miss Marge, how are you, beautiful? It looks like leather, it does. 
this muslin and chalk paint at the school my sweetheart works out well, works out one person showed up positive on Friday. Ooh, he has been told which section of the school yet. Oh, he has not been told which section of the school yet. It scares me. Yes, I would be scared too. I'm doing good, Miss Marge. I don't know what it is about me lately. I can't. Hold on, Liz is back. Talk now, Liz. Marge, hey Patricia. So weird. Nope, I can hear you now. Okay. I just gotta remember which one it is that it's inactive. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on. I have two of you. You have a twin on the panel. <laughs> Started talking about Elvis's twin and see what happened. Elvis is Elvis is haunting my channel. No kidding. Hey DIC, what is DIC? Oh, dream it, imagine it, create it. Got it. <laughs> what does DIC mean? Oh, dreaming, uh, dream it, imagine it, create it. Teresa, I just asked to be friends with you on Facebook. My name is with my husband, which is Antonio. I didn't even know that was you, Miss Carrie. I was like, who is that? Antonio Carey Barnava Ocampo. Oh, Carey. Antonio Carey Barnava Ocampo. Antonio Carey. I was wondering who that was, Miss Carrie. Ocampo, is that your maiden name or is that your married name? Ocampo, Ocampo Spanish. Mm -hmm. If we pronounce Barnaba, that could also be Spanish. Nice and hard look. Come to me, my pretty. Okay, Carrie, I saw it, but I didn't want to ask if it was you. I Well, you know what? She got me. I didn't know who it was. I thought it was a guy because <laughs> I saw Antonio. And I'm like, no, don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't friend guys. Was that white line on the that the piece there? Banaba. Banaba, is that Spanish? Ocampo, I know is Spanish. By Nava. She said, you said it perfect. Married. She said it's I, married. So Ocampo it's, is married name. Married is her, married. But by Nava is, um, is that Spanish? Or just, is this pronounced Bar, Barnava? Barnava? Barnava in English, I guess. Barnava? Uh, or Banava? Banava. She wants to see those dolls. Those pictures. Those dolls. <laughs> yeah, I can't open it because it, it, go, it links me to Facebook. I have to wait till later. I, well, I didn't know. See, I didn't put two and two together because I'm not that smart, Miss Teresa. And I was like, no, I don't know who Antonio is, but... It might be one of those Nigerian guys trying to friend me. <laughs> to be honest, to be aged, as my kids would say, to be honest, to be aged. Oh, Campo is oh, Hawaiian. Oh, yeah. Hawaiian? Oh, that's right. She said her husband was um, Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. See, I'm slow. I'm a slow. I'm a slow learner, Miss Carrie. Ocampo, though, is used by a lot of Spanish, too, though. Well, they have, you know, they have a lot of um, 
Hawaiians yeah. have a lot of Spanish names for the Filipinos and yeah. Spaniards. It, Japanese Guanaba French. is French and Arabic. Arabic. Ah. We've learned a lot about you, Miss Carrie. You're a beautician. Mm -hmm. Your husband's Hawaiian. And you have French Arabic. Mm -hmm. And you're from Michigan. See, I remembered a little bit something. I might forget. I might forget. Ask me 10 days from now, I might forget. <laughs> but right now, my, um, my brain is is uh kind of functioning it, it just functions when it wants to but look at that my pretty <laughs> and she loves you know who <laughs> who Teresa, she's saying, and she loves you know who. Oh, she loves um Elvis. Elvis, yeah. Carrie's an Elvis fan. Well, that's okay. She can she can be an Elvis fan. She can be one. People don't want to come in here because we're talking about Elvis. You know, there's plenty of other channels they can go to. Nothing wrong with that. We're all here to have fun. And she loves, you know, who, oh yeah. No names, please, no names. <laughs> no names. But what, people left because we were talking about Elvis? For us, that's what she thinks. Oh. Um, what was this song? Something I'll probably butcher this song. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> Something, something, I'm a hound dog. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 hound dog. Somebody save her. Well, how does it go? I forgot. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my God. There's worse things to be talking about. Absolutely. Amen. Oh. I agree. <laughs> amen. 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 Hound dog, you got it. You got Marge it. Marge says, no. yeah, my I, one I, daughter has been in love with Elvis since she was 18. Aw. Teresa says, hound dog, you got it, May. <laughs> hound dog, yeah, but I don't know how it does it go. I just not. <laughs> hound dog. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we got from our garden. Oh, zucchini. Compared to my hair. <laughs> nice. Look at mommy's. <laughs> Look, wait, oh my God, that's wow. <laughs> Look at her hands. She's got these tiny bits. And I got man hands. <laughs> my hands are six inches. Here's your you need cucumber. We need uh, pickles today. Yeah. Here, you, pickles. All right. We got it. We got it, ladies. Oh, my ladies. I should have made that base a little bit bigger, but it's okay. It's oh, they're giving you the words to the song. Uh, killing all the time. Is that how it goes? Uh, Penny and Teresa. No, they're crying all the time. Da -da 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 -da, hound dog crying all the time. Well, what was before? Da -da 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 -da, hound dog. <laughs> It goes after da -da 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 -da, hound dog. Da -da 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 -da. Ain't no worry, thump thump, no friend of mine. What's another Elvis song that I can butcher so I can make <laughs> so I can make uh, Teresa really mad? She's killing him. 
Someone Yvonne stop. says you ain't nothing but a hound dog. Oh, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Ain't no, ain't nothing but a hound dog. Wait a minute. Crying all the time. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. Ain't no friend of mine. Somebody step in and help her. <laughs> Love me tender. What does that want? How does that go now? Love me tender. Love me. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I'm gonna put some um. That was so dry. Wet. Teresa says, well, you've never caught a rabbit, you so you're a girlfriend heck? of mine. You never what caught a rabbit. What does have to do about? I mean, you ain't never caught a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. What the heck? What, what kind of song is that? that? I mean. Oh, okay. You want Eric? Hold on. Roll. Hold on. We're going to get Eric to do Elvis. Hey, Eric. Come here. Elvis said, what good is fame and fortune if you don't share it with your friends? He hooked his friends up always. Aw. The ladies have a request. <laughs> Shake, rattle, and roll. I don't know that one. Shake, Ooh. rattle, and roll. They want, you, they want to hear you sing an Elvis song. Elvis Costello? No, Elvis Presley. <laughs> <laughs> Sing it. Do you know how to sing? I don't know any Elvis Presley songs. Okay, uh, what was that song? Um, you ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. What? You ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> you ain't never caught a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. I don't know this. I don't know. Sing an Elvis song. I don't know That's Elvis all song. I know. Huh? Love, love me tender. Love me so. There you go. Sing that one. That was Crespo. It, uh, I want to wait a minute. <laughs> wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to hear you sing Elvis Crespo. I don't know any Elvis Crespo. Then why name. did you suggest it? He wants to sing Elvis Crespo. Elvis oh Crespo. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Salsero. No, merengue, merengue. 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 Hey. <laughs> Remake. Hey. That is not even a song Elvis Christmas. <laughs> okay, the dogs. Get those dogs out of here. Ah, 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 ah. Leave me alone. Go down. Down. Oh my god, they sound like salvages in here. Yeah. Suavemente. Uh huh. Go. Eric sings suavemente. Besame. Y quiero sentir tus labios besándome otra vez suavemente besame quiero sentir tus labios besándome otra vez suave besame besame suaves come on come on Eric sing it I don't know that you said all this Crespo Crespo not Crespo you the you you said it, not me. <laughs> they're what? They're waiting for you to sing. They're literally sitting here. Waiting for what? Jailhouse what? Rock. Uh -uh. Get, uh -uh. Get those dogs out. <laughs> you ain't no friend of my mind. No, you just told me I'm not a friend of yours. No, that's a, that's no, that's, a, that's an excuse. That's an excuse. Come up, sing Elvis. I don't want any Elvis songs. They just they're telling you, Jailhouse Rock, Groundhog. What is that? Re Return to Sender. Return to Sender. Come on. I don't know 
You were born in the 70s. You know something. The 70s were good. All right, we'll sing one song. The 70s were good to me, man. Sing something. You know how to sing. Sing something. Sing a rap song. Come on. What's that one you're always in? Lean back. Lean back. I thought I'd done that in years. You're going to put your phone on a charger. Okay. Uh, blue suede shoes. There you go. Sing blue suede shoes. Heartbreak name. Hotel. I don't know that's right. Come on. You know one of these songs. You're pretending. Come on. I got to get some black thread, guys. Because I got to do a stitch to stitch that down. So hold on. Come on. We're waiting. You're getting the ladies over here pretty upset that you're trying to. Don't be cruel. There you go. That's an easy one. Do, 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 do. I don't even know the words, but. Look it up. Go look up a song and come back upstairs. No. Look a song up and come back upstairs. Uh, all right, we're going to get some black thread and a needle. Me no encantante. Yo soy el cantante que han venido a escuchar lo mejor de ser cantante. Uh, no such number, no such soul. We had a quarrel, a lover spat. Que han venido escuchan. All right, Daddy Jack. How about, okay, I know which one you're going to want to sing. Bad Bunny. <laughs> chambeo, chambeo. <laughs> So there is this Puerto Rican singer called uh, Bad Bunny. And the one thing, one day we were sitting down, and he's a rapper or something, I guess. What is he? I don't, he's like. Some kind, he's got some new beat of rapping, I don't know. And we were eating dinner, and Eric suddenly came out with Chambeo, no, Chambeo. No, Charlie was talking about something, and I said, if you go, if Bad Bunny were to come up to you, I'd say, Chambeo, Chambeo, you would go with him. Yeah. He came out. He, that's all he knew about that. Yeah. Chambeo, Chambeo, Chambeo. There. No done. such number, no such soul. We had a quarrel, a lover spat. I write, I'm sorry, but my letter <gasps> keeps coming back. I'll follow my teleprompter. My brother rocks Elvis at our house karaoke contest. Elvis Crespo or Elvis Presley. Liz, did you get out again? <laughs> no, I'm here. Oh, because, okay, because I saw two. I saw two again. No, I'm here. I don't know what it is with that two thing, but I'm here. All right, so we're going to glue this down, and I got a needle. I'm going to go ahead and put some Fabri-Tac just to help support it, because I'm going to give it a little bit of support. So I'm going to put some on the bottom base, and then we're going to do a little quick hidden stitch here. I was being quiet so we could hear Eric sing and rap, but yeah, all he it knows didn't is happen. Now all he knows is chambeo, chambeo. <laughs> I don't even know why he said Elvis Crespo. Uh, when I heard him say that, I was like, oh, wow. Sing it. Sing it, Eric. Sing it. Sammy Davis sang this candy man. Yes, he did, Denise. We had the album. Oh, Elvis Presley. Oh. Teresa wants to know. 
that's the oh she's saying that's the words to return to San Germain. Oh see that much that's how much I know about Elvis. I don't know the words to his songs either, so don't feel bad. And I'm older than you. Eric's in the house. He should have shown him earlier, Miss um, Miss March. He was on camera. He was on camera. He was. Yeah, he was on camera. Oh, oh that must have been what because I, I came in late. I was um talking with someone. All right. I'm gonna try. I guess I should let that dry. I'm gonna let this I'm gonna hold it here and just chat and read the chat because I want that fabric tag to kind of make good bond and kind of before I start stitching that up. Yeah, he was on here. He's being silly. <laughs> I missed it. Yeah, he did. He was being really silly. I did get a notification today that you were up. Did you? Mm-hmm. He was Finally. being crazy silly. He was talking about my sewing machine that he bought me, and I ruined. Oh, no. I know, right? It's like, shame on him. No discreet. He's not discreet. <laughs> what machine was it? A singer, a brother? <laughs> so machine. Um, faff. Oh, no. Oh, Patricia got notifications today, too, which never happens. Yeah, I know. I don't get notifications when May goes on. Today was a miracle. You like Eric's laugh? He's got a cheesy laugh. All right, so we're going to do a quick little, let's just, uh, let's see if I can get it. I'm trying to make sure that my fabric tack makes that nice connection. I'm having my soup again. He can be funny sometimes, and then other times he can be a pain in the booty. <laughs> Me oyes comiendo? ¿Tú estás comiendo? Yes, my soup, come? my dinner. ¿Qué comes? Sopa. Sopita, sopita. Yeah, leftovers. Teresa got a notification 15 minutes ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, at least you got it, right? Two hours into the, <laughs> into the Sorry, video. Video. Oh, I was going to say, how did she find it? I forgot. I sent her a link. Gotta get a thimble. Return to sender. Sopita, so Ivan is making bean burrito tonight with fresh beans made in pressure cooker. Oh, I made French. I made a whole crock pot of beans the other day. I like to get the fresh the beans and let them soak and then put them in the crock pot for a little bit. And, and then, um, then I'll pull it out when we need it. Patricia's sweetheart is making fried pork and shrimp. Mm -hmm. He makes it every Sunday. Aww. We're going over to your house. Save me um, a bow. That sounds good. 
I know, right? Save me a bowl, Miss Patricia. I'm doing on the fold crease side. It's kind of like to hide that stitch. But the paint gets it, makes it really stiff, which is good. It makes it stiff. Love me tender, love me so. Oh, Patricia just got the call for dinner. She'll be back soon. We'll be right over. Tell her to fix the wish. Oh, don't the thread. Damn it. Look at that. I broke the damn thread. Oh, no. Damn thread. Dare it break. And this is supposed to be quilting thread. How the heck does that break? It's the needle that probably has a little. Maybe it had a weak spot. Needle probably had a little burr in it. Uh -huh. My fingers are all dirty. I don't have to go around this damn thing again. Let me get a. Hey, but es que yo soy media ciega, coño. Probably has a burr. I want to change that needle because I think that might have a little burr in there. Rock star. Teresa said, Was it? Pork or shrimp that shook you up, May? Um, I think it might have been the pork. Um, not a big fan of shrimp, but you know, I think it shook the, the witch's hat here. Can't even find a damn hole. If I was a man, I'd be screwed. I wouldn't be able to screw. Oof, look at that. So bad. Reminds me of um, Romero. Romero, he's always so nasty. I was wondering why he always says that in his songs. I don't. I don't listen to him. You don't like him? I've never heard any of his stuff. Oh, bachata, Romero, Romero yeah. salsa. I'm not really into bachata. Oh, that's probably why. I like my salsa the best. Sad. Yeah. Oh, you go for the old school songs. Mm -hmm. a lot of, yeah, a lot of the, the salsa ones and that remind me of my parents. Hector Lao. I like the real old stuff too. Like um what's his name? Um oh my god, I can't think now. Hector Lavo, Frankie uh, Ruiz. I, I can, but oh, I love Frankie Ruiz. Oh, I love Frankie Ruiz. He died too damn young. Yep. We're talking about Spanish songs now. Now we're talking about the sexy men in Spanish. Felipe Rodriguez, my mom loved him. Oh, my dad loved Felipe. I was supposed to be named after him. Yeah, I, I love his music. I listen to it and it just reminds me of her. Look, Pancho. Karen says to use small pliers to pull the needle through. 
Yeah, look. <laughs> Ivana is saying Vicente Fernandez. Vicente Fernandez, Petra. You know who I like, and I think he's so damn sexy? Pepe Aguilar. Oh, my God, that man is sexy. And Belto Santa Rosa. Pepe Aguilar is a Mexican. Um, he's oh, okay. Okay, okay, I don't know. I don't know a lot of the Mexican singers. Oh, Pepe Aguilar sings nice. He's got, por mujeres como tú, amor, hay hombres como yo. Alejandro Fernandez. That's the song, uh, the son of Vicente Fernandez. Yeah, Karen, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, me with tools, I'm really great at keeping those handy around. You got the needle nose pliers in front of you. Yeah, I know. Limited on tool accessibility. Shocking. Teresa loved Johnny Rodriguez. My favorite song is Down on the Rio Grande. Teresa listens to Spanish music too. Oh, wow. Oh, oh listen to her. Oh. Which one you sing? Feliz Navidad. Mm -mm -mm. Feliz Navidad. Felipe Rodriguez. No, that's, um. what was his name? Um, mm -hmm. Jose, um, Jose Feliciano. Yeah. Feliz Navidad. I agree, Yvonne. You need a curved needle. I want to wish, and I have one of those too. Ask me where it is. It's where my book binding stuff is. Don't know where it is either with the awe. That, that man's nice little tool called an awe. Yeah. And uh, the measuring stingy and some wax. I have a kit like that. I do too. Do you know it what you sounds like doing? the one from, I got it on Amazon. I do too. I did ditto. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> True, Teresa. Teresa said, just because we have a tool in front of us doesn't mean we will use it. That is yeah, so true. That's so true. I don't mean that. Because I got a lot of tools. I don't, I don't like using them. I don't even know why I buy it. Because someone said buy it. That's why I bought it. I just bought a new tool. I got to play with it. After we're done here, we're going to play with it. I got a new tool because someone said this is the most awesomest thing ever. So I went and got it because someone said to get it. But I better keep my mouth shut on that because I'm always telling people, get this because it's so good. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can enable I miss enabler. <laughs> but it's so good, we need it. As I struggle here. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. From the bottom of my heart. I got one song that I like and I learned it when I was in college. You guys wanna hear it? Mm -hmm. En el universo negro, como negro tengo el, mm, mm. Oh, Lord, that is, <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> but you didn't hear the part. That, <laughs> como negro tengo mm, mm. <laughs> May's version. May, no, no, that was one of my friends from college. Virgin. <laughs> En el en universo negro como negro tengo el Ivana's cracking up. 
You can't. Let me call it Teresa. <laughs> Teresa, do you speak Spanish? Mm-hmm. She does? No. ¿Y quién es él? ¿En qué lugar se enamoró de ti? Es un laughing. cabrón. <laughs> That's oh, my man. version. <laughs> no vale la pena. Y por favor, dile que no me va más aquí. See, I told you guys you'll learn Spanish with us here. Never know what's going to come says on. No, but I am picking up so many words. Yeah, because <laughs> this is the Spanglish, Spanglish channel. We never know. We never know what might come out of my mouth. The word for today was... En el universo negro, como negro, tengo el culo. <laughs> What's their song? There's a song that goes, culo. Oh, my God. Me is misbehaving. I know. It's Sunday. I'm holier than thou. It's Sunday. I'm making a witch. I think the witch the, the witch hat possessed me. <laughs> yes, let's blame it on the witch hat. I'm blaming the witch hat. It possessed me. They no taught other. me some in school, but I don't remember until I hear you say some words. <laughs> Teresa said that. <laughs> that is funny. Poor Yvonne is having strokes, having <laughs> laughing like crazy. Mm -hmm. There is, there is a song like that. culo. I don't know all the words because I'm bad with lyrics. <clears throat> May likes to make up her own songs. I make my own songs, yeah. Muevelo, muevelo. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do, a, do a, a, a song. Hey, Marcela, ¿cómo está? Tanto tiempo en verte por ahí. ¿Cómo está todo en, allá en Costa Rica? Guys, if you guys know, Marcela has followed me since 2011. Oh, I remember her from. Marcela, ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo están los niños? El nene ya debe estar grandecísimo. Ay, broke it again, damn it. No, no, no. Says, siempre te veo, me. Ah, qué chévere. ¿Cómo está todo allá en Costa Rica? El nene tiene cinco años. Ya cinco, sí, él nació en el 14. Eh, me recuerdo fue en el 14 que nació, ¿verdad? 2014 por ahí. Ya está grandecito. Ya no es un baby. Bueno, baby, sí, el baby sí, para siempre para ti va a ser, siempre va a ser baby. Estoy haciendo una gorra. She says, por acá todo bien. May, Ay, ¿y tú cómo estás? Todo bien, gracias a Dios. Todo bien, gracias a Dios. Para mí siempre será mi my baby. Ay, sí, claro, sí, claro. Es el único varoncito también siempre va a ser tu baby, el rey. ¿Y las nenas cómo están? She's very talented, guys. She does beautiful work. She's catching up with her original followers. 
Where she I only speaks Spanish, um, man. Huh? Yeah, she only speaks Spanish. She's from Costa Rica. She lives here. Mm -hmm. My mom's friend married a Costa Rican man and they moved to Costa Rica. She loves it. Oh, Costa Rica is beautiful. They keep telling me to move down there, the ladies. Siempre me dice Ileana, para siempre será mi bebé. Yes, he's my king, my, mis hijas grandes también. 16, 9 años, ya la tuya tiene 16. No lo puedo creer. No lo puedo creer que ya la nena tiene 16 años. Does Marcela have a YouTube channel? Marcela, ¿tú tienes un canal de YouTube? Tienes un canal. Yes. Wow. Does she does? Uh, no. Sí, es una muchacha. She, she hasn't answered yet. Tiene la misma edad de Nani. Nani, Nani tiene 16 años también. Marge is asking. She, 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 she does beautiful like planners. She does beautiful projects. She does she does absolutely gorgeous stuff. Oh, Yvonne was gonna move there. My husband wanted to move there after retiring, but then I their first grandson came. Yeah, we were thinking yeah, about that would change it too. <laughs> Yeah, we had thought about going to Costa Rica because it's the money, American money is worth so much up there. They say it's a beautiful country. It is. Está dando clase, uh, Marcel. Marcela. No, no me animo. ¿Por qué no te anima? Necesito una buena cámara para poder hacerlo. Pero las ganas sí existen. Espero un, en algún momento hacer. Ay, chica, tiene que hacerlo. Tú tienes mucho talento. Marge, she doesn't have a channel, but she she what she does want it. She does want to do one. She doesn't have a camera. Mm -hmm. It's harder for them to in Costa Rica. It is harder for them to get their craft supplies. So they're all. Always managing to do it with limited supplies. Tienes que animarte. Anímate, anímate, que tú tienes mucho talento. Y con el teléfono no te funciona. They need more Spanish crafters for people that don't speak English. I used to do them, but I used to do all my videos were in Spanish. Okay, mira, ya terminé la gorra. Oh, sand it. Sand block. I want to mute myself for this. Okay. Me voy a um, poner en, en mute porque si no, le voy a de esto lo, los oídos. Thank you, Yvonne. Allergies. Oh, 
se enamoró de ti. I know, right? Marge is coming out really good. Es un amor que no vale la pena. Marge is saying it looks amazing. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm in Girl. New York, Yvonne. See? You want a wonky hat. You want it to be wonky. I love it. But this is my allergy season. The f I have allergies all year round, but this time of year is the worst for me. Mi teléfono no tiene muy buena memoria. Espero pronto cambiar el teléfono. Tal vez así podrá hacer videos. Me gustaría mucho. Siempre recuerdo cuando vivíamos, víamos tus videos hace más de seis años con Iliana. Sí, yo me recuerdo. Bueno y bellos recuerdos. Muy bellos recuerdos. Muy bello recuerdo. Tengo que hacer video en español. Oh, sabes, sabes que siempre, siempre me he admirado muchísimo tu trabajo. Ay, gracias. Tantas. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Um, she's también... standing because um, it ages it and it dulls the shine. So it gives it that vintage look, grungy. Yeah. And it gives it more of a primitive look. Yeah. So now we got a mixture here. Um, so what um, my Sierra said is my Sierra said is that um, years ago when I started doing videos, like many moons ago, on Ustream, she was one. I had like six thousand Spanish girls from all over the world that followed me, and she was one of the first ones that started watching. And she actually, when I opened up Creative with Details, she designed a couple things for me. Um, all right, so we have cinnamon, canela, mod podge, but you have to get the matte. Matte. Mix it with a little bit of water. And I'm going to be dipping between that mixture and matte as well. I have it here mixed with a little bit of glue already from yesterday. And because um, I didn't throw it away. Too good to throw away. So just brush it. <coughs> And right where you see that water mixture with the, um, and this is just to make it look rusty and crusty. And, you know, we like that rust. Sprinkle some of the cinnamon on it. You don't want to use it. <clears throat> Sorry. Yvonne, I screenshot this so that I'll, I'm going to do that. Thank you. The cinnamon um, antiques it. Yes. It's, it's the, the same as the boot. Mm -hmm. Um. The same as what she did to the boot yesterday, Teresa. Yep. So it gives it kind of a rusty feel to rusty look to it because she's a grungy, grungy a witch. So then I'm going to go in, kind of go in with my matte glue here. I'm going to put some on my mat here so I'm not. Yeah, it does look fan and smells fantastic. You're yeah. welcome, Linda. And then I'm going to brush it in. I dip it into a little bit of that water and a little bit of the and just kind of seal it in. Teresa so says, May, please come read me a bedtime story in Spanish. What do you want me to read to you? Once Teresa's cute. Time, in the never ending land of May's crazy world, there once lived a crazy. She said in Spanish. In Spanish, oh. Una vida. <laughs> Había una muchacha puertorriqueña loca como el diantre. <laughs> Sprinkle it and run your fingers through it, okay? And then seal it with a little bit of Mod Podge. And you want your water, pick up some of that glue and just seal it. Teresa said anything. It sounds so soothing. Oh, so she didn't mind the English version. She didn't mind the English version? Yeah. No, there I don't once... know. Like Mar <laughs> Marge says, there once lived Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> She's terrible. That's not a bedtime story for Teresa. That's a nightmare. There <laughs> once lived Elvis and he lived in a shoe filled with <laughs> With um, 
Elvis fan fans. I don't know. Now, now that one threw me off. I can't do Elvis. Oh my god, that was funny. Marge is too much. You don't want to use organic. That's bougie. That's bougie. Um, that's bougie. Um, this is bougie cinnamon. And I'm not sure why Eric bought bougie cinnamon because we're not bougie here. Um, when he could have gone to Dollar Tree and picked me up a bottle for a dollar and saved yeah, me up for four crafting, bucks. definitely. That four bucks could have been used for something else. There goes my life savings on a damn. <clears throat> under Teresa's bed, she says. <laughs> there once lived Elvis under Teresa's bed. Oh what? no, that's a bedtime story to me. Under the bed, not on the bed. Oh my god. I'm not sure her husband be okay. We're gonna get these the rim. I'm not sure her husband would be okay with Elvis being on his bed. Like I don't think I would want Elvis on my bed because he's done. He's done gone. He's dead. If I see him on my no, bed, no. she be like, said there once lived Elvis under Teresa's bed. Once. Once no longer. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, Ivan says you can get four containers for a dollar. Four containers of what? The cinnamon, I think. Yeah, a dollar tree. You can get four containers for four bucks. Yeah. And he's oh, wow. He's, He's over here trying to be bougie with me. Like, this hat really needed some bougie uh, cinnamon. Like, really? What's up with that, Eric Larson? Trying to be bougie. Maybe he's bougie undercover. Maybe he is. I don't know. I learned something new about him, like that I didn't know, you know, that existed. Some of that bouginess has gone to his head. See, that, that cinnamon makes it look rusty, crusty, because this witch is a little rusty on the crusty side's life, you know. She a little rusty. Or as Carla would say, she's crusty. Yes, that will dry up. You don't want the gloss Mod Podge because then that would make it shiny. And we're going from removing the gloss from the shininess to making it rusty like she's been around the block a few times. Jenny from the block, you know, one of those kind of things. think we got it. I'm going to go wash my hands. Y'all know how I feel about my hands being dirty and we're going to start decorating this bad boy and I want to clean up this mess. So um, mi casa, su casa. Liz is with you guys. Enjoy her company. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Save the organic stuff for your coffee or baking. Yes, I agree, Yvonne. What's up? This, um, Yvonne says save the organic good stuff for coffee or baking. Agree. Right. And Teresa's saying, I love the cinnamon technique. Uh, yeah, I do yeah. too. You gotta look at my, you gotta look at my Dollar Tree cake pan that I If any of you missed the shoe that she did yesterday, you need to watch that video. It came out amazing. And according to May, that's just the prototype.
<laughs> oh my god, Sheila, that's good. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Sheila, there once was an Elvis who lived in a shoe. He had so many fans, he didn't know what to do. He twisted oh, and like... swayed, and they all fainted dead. So Elvis laid down his weary head. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> That's a good one. Publish that one. Get that one published. Oh my God. Get that one published. Yeah, that, that video, um, she calls it a prototype. I've never seen a prototype quite so pretty. <laughs> I used to love a little, now I love a lot. Doom, 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 doom. Jenny from the block. I'm so, I'm so. I used to love a lip. I used to, what is it? How she goes? I don't know. Let me shut up. Jenny from the block. I'm so, I'm so. I used to have a little, now I have a lot. Hey, Eric. Can you bring me my cell phone up here, please? Thank you. Patricia's back and she loves the way the is turning out. And you can leave this process out. I like grungy stuff. Oh, I love grungy. That's why I married um, Eric, because he was grungy. <laughs> I didn't think about the computer. Oh, <laughs> my God. Um, so when I went to Walmart to get your nuts and water, mm -hmm. I parked the cart on the parking lot, and I saw a cell phone in another cart. So I grabbed it and I took it back in the store. Oh, that was very nice of you. Mm -hmm. Show you why I my inspiration for this piece and see if I find it. I use it like a little now. I like a lot. I'm so, I'm so getting from the block. I must have burned the tip of my finger. It hurts. This is the, oh, here's the price. It, oh, that's the website that has it, but here it is. Although hers goes all the way down. I'm gonna have to make another one. That one goes all the way down, but that's all right. I like the I'm way the this one looks so, that you made. Earth goes all and, the way down. You know, I like this um, rusty effect. It goes a lot faster than using all the other. I mean, What's it's good that? for when you want something quick. What's that? I like this rusty effect for quick, when you're doing something quick. Uh-huh. Instead of all the pace and the paints and all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, Linda says she saw the shoe. She ran and saw the shoe. Very good. Yeah, it yes. did. It came out really nice. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. But you know what, guys? Um, tell you what. Um, I'm going to use probably, I don't know. This witch has to be. Um, she's going to be a little grungy, but, you know, she's going to be a little evil as well. Because she's got to be evil. I got this at um, Dollar Tree. I can't be the same as somebody else. You know, that's just me. But you can do, if you don't like Halloween, like I said, you can do the same thing for Chris, um, for Hall uh, for Christmas. I'm thinking that's going to go there. We got some cheesecloth right here that I've already coffee dyed. It has vanilla, it has cinnamon, 
has all that yumminess that we like to smell in the fall. So I'm gonna cut some Denise of this. Denise says the hat, that hat is just perfect. I love it. And Linda says, yes, love evil. I agree. What's that? The darker the better. That Linda says she loves evil. Yes, Miss Linda. See, I knew I liked you, Miss Linda. Linda, Linda. Yes, what? that's true, Sheila. Sheila's saying the hat pattern can double for the Harry Potter sorting hat, too. Oh, yeah. Very true. <laughs> Patricia said that hat would be perfect for one of my sisters because she is a major witch. <laughs> Oh, Wait, we got Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. It's Evelyn. Oh, my God. Then she's a major rock star. She's not a witch. She's a major rock star. Let's go find another tram to put on there because, you know, I got to be extra special. Oh, Linda tried to do a super chat, but trouble with PayPal. I used to have a little, now I have a lot. I'm so, I'm so Jenny from the block. Don't know why, don't know why <laughs> I'm singing that song. Oh my God, March tells, oh my God, Patricia, you have a twisted sister too? <laughs> I mean, well, I don't have a sister, but I have a twisted brother. Does that count? Can I join your club? Love having you with us, Sheila. Sheila is a sweetheart. Yes, she is. I don't have a sister. Well, I have stepsister, but I don't really claim them. Does that count? Does that count? I don't he know. Wants to join the Twisted Sister Club. Twisted Sister. The only thing hers is a brother, not a sister. Who? You. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I, I have some evil brothers. They should count for the something. They, they, that should count for something, man. <laughs> I had to put up with their BS my whole life. Well, one of them at least. One of them. Oh, she did it. What's up? Patricia. Oh my, look at how nice, um, May. Huh? Patricia, super chat, 25. Oh, Miss Patricia, that is so sweet. See, oh. that's how mine was supposed to come out yesterday. I don't know what happened. Something was wrong because I've done super chats before and never had an issue. I don't know what I do to deserve you guys. <laughs> Linda says, I have a twisted sister. She voted for Trump. She put angry face. <laughs> oh, my God. That is funny. Patricia says, I don't have a twisted sister. She is just a witch. She's just a witch. She's not twisted, right? <laughs> oh, my God. They are killing me, these women. Guys, this is going to be a um, Victorian shoe kit. Oh, my God. Wait till you see this fabric for the shoe kit. That was a quick peek, and that was horrible. That's such a teaser, but it's beautiful. It's going to be a gorgeous, ladies. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Y'all got to be there to see it. Patricia said, wow. I'm so Jenny from the book. I just had. It was quick. I'm being mean to y'all. Y'all can later on say something. That May. I don't like that May. She is such a teaser. 
She's a teaser. Teaser. I'm, that I'm, is a beautiful fabric, though. I'm going to cut this one up. I think we're going to cut this little piece here. I'm, I'm still mad at Eric that he didn't let me get the other roll of this shit. Who are you mad at? There, the Walmart had this roll. Like, I don't know how much of it was for two bucks. I wanted to get all the rolls, and he only let me get one during COVID. He's like, you don't need that. Mm -hmm. He told me I didn't need it. He said you don't need it. Doesn't he know we need it? We all need. I used to and have he a laughs at me when I tell him that. <laughs> I'm so I'm so Jenny from the block. All right, let's cut. I'm gonna cut a strip of this, guys. I have to do some, maybe <clears throat> binding. I don't know. I'm sorry, Brady, not binding. I got a mess in here. Y'all, you know, y'all don't understand. The struggle is so real when you're trying to craft. I'm going to have to start making you guys come down here and cleaning this mess for me. Yeah, we know nothing about crafting the messes that are made. We don't understand that, right, ladies? <laughs> That's so we real. appreciate you making a mess for us, May. All right, ladies, I'm gonna I have a hard dilemma. Do we want to go purple? Uh I would say like cranberry kind or a dark olive. Ooh. Well you did the dark olive on the yeah on the boot. That one? Mm -hmm. Patricia says, I would have said, take a step back, my love, because I'm getting it. <laughs> getting what? Getting what? What are we getting? The fabric that you said, that Eric said, you don't oh. need it. <laughs> All yeah. two ladies are saying purple. We'll put some purple in there for you. How's that? Because it needs a little bit of color pop in there. It's kind of blah. It's blah, blah. Yeah, Marge, that is for sure. She says, I have to dig out of my own room each day. No kidding. I think it, it's kind of hard not to make a mess when you're crafting because you, we take out so much stuff. Yeah, when you're but, crafting on a video, it's even worse. This is that piece of fabric that Eric just refused to let me have that one day. Shame on him. He just don't know the struggle. Y'all don't know the struggle. I have he to does play. not understand. Men just don't understand. <laughs> Evelyn says, what up, witches? <laughs> what up? What up? That's good. Denise says purple, so that's three purples. Patricia, okay. you know I see a lot of beautiful craft rooms, but they are in perfect condition. Like, they don't even use the room. I like to use my room, mess or not. I agree. There's a lot of craft rooms that look like they've never touched that damn thing. Yeah, makes All you right, wonder if they really craft. Cloth, and it's about, uh, I would say about two inches and a quarter maybe. And it's been coffee dyed. It's doubled up because the cheesecloth tends to, you know, kind of become very thin when you take it apart. So that is doubled up. I'm just going to um, tie it because that's just to give it a nice little lip effect there. You said I don't know. I don't even know why I'm singing Jenny from the block because I don't even like the girl. I think she's so damn. Oh, I love Jennifer. Do you? Oh, I yes. don't. Girl. Do. She's too much for me. She's too much for me. Evelyn says, looking good. Mm 
Ivan says, I just watched The Wedding Planner the other night. I love that movie. I think it's so funny. You know, she went from having nothing to having like a lot. And she's, they, people say she's really mean to them. She doesn't tip really well. Rosie Perez really doesn't like her either because she said that she just came in thinking she was all that demanding. I don't know. Tony says she's been to the hotel and she's always been very generous. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah, very nice. Said that she doesn't like to tip. Who? She doesn't. Uh, a thing had come out where she doesn't like to tip. All right, we're gonna I go. Think sometimes a lot of time. You know, people just make up stuff or whatever. I mean, they're going to make it bigger. They're going to wrap around the world here. Oh, you know what? Wait, we got a piece of yarn. Wait, we got to get some bougie yarn on here. We're going to get some black yarn. Hold on. That's something I forgot to put on my one yesterday that I regret not putting on. Everybody's so quiet watching you make your bow. If you don't have a bow maker, this is the one to have. Yeah, this bow maker is the best, I have to say. I that. do like it. I have the Zutter one. Yeah, that's no and good. I, had I it. don't like it as much as I like this one. Yeah, me This one's either. a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Has to be a crazy though. You know, I'm crazy like that. All oh, the purple kind of made it stand out. Isn't that pretty? Look, all the fibers. Look how pretty. And then we're going to cut this sucker out. Put this little guard thing back on here. I don't know where I put it. That purple really does stand out. Yeah, the purple makes it stand out a lot better. Sheila wants to know what's the name of the bow maker. I think um, May still has some that she can sell, Sheila. Yeah, I can I can sell you, um, Sheila. This is what it is. I'll show you here in a second. I still I don't I have love that bow maker. I don't I used to have it in a store. I took it down. It sold for twenty. I can let it go for fifteen now. That's it. Ooh, that's a deal. That's the easiest bow maker ever. Plus the shipping, of course. That should fit in your well, flat rate. Yvonne says, I love it. March says, wow. Teresa says, I love the bow. And of course, Evelyn says, it's coming out beautiful. <laughs> Bruhaha. Bruhaha. Eric says Bruhaha. Hey Eric. Denise loves purple. I do too. How do you awesome. say Bruha? No, come up here and tell the ladies. 
He loves coming up here. Can you hear the excitement on him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Linda says, great work as always. Gotta go. Have a good night. Oh, good night, Jean. Good night, Miss Jean. Thank you so much for joining us. That is an amazing price. I just love to use the bow maker. Yes, it is, uh, Patricia. I paid more for mine. How do you say Eric? Eric. No. How do you say <laughs> in Spanish? Brujaja. Did you guys hear him? How do yeah. you <laughs> Brujaja. 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 No. Bruja. No. Bruja. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he, went, he went to motivate Brian and his mom while they worked out with a personal trainer. So I told him to take a candy bar and a soda mm -hmm. and sit in there drinking meat while they're working out. We might leave this arm for something else. It might. I think there's a shoe should have that arm sticking out. Bruja. Bruja. Yvonne's a purple holic. It, it does look really good. The purple really looks good. It kind of makes it go off a lot. Yeah. Karen says project. another amazing project. Thank you. People are laughing. March says, oh my God. That is funny. I can't. <laughs> uh, it's like my husband that they stay so serious, but they're cracking jokes. Oh, he he, you know what? He doesn't. He, he likes you guys because he doesn't normally act this way with people. He doesn't like He's very timid. <laughs> Evelyn said, be with you in a minute. Gonna brew me some fresh coffee. Um, <laughs> Evelyn's got witch jokes today. <laughs> this one, I was thinking about this, but I think I'm just going to use because it had the spider. But we're going to probably use, I need to find all my uh, Halloween decor from last year. Those are some really nice pieces. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, Dollar Tree has gotten a lot better with their flowers and picks and things like that. Yeah, they have. I got these at um, at what do you call that store? Joanne's. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> that store. Yeah, that. I think you need to grungy up your pumpkins and stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking. They look too big. Big. It's too big. Maybe the white one, but I don't want to use a white because I might use it for something else. So. There we oh, Patricia, that's so sweet. Patricia says, I just love when all the ladies come in and make it so fun and to see May's amazing talents. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's no, no, it's no fun when it's just boring. Laughter is good for the soul. Let's see how she did it. She just had a big ass bow and a greenery sticking in there. And she charged, I think, $85 for that thing. That's crazy. Yeah. Denise says, good vibrations here. Yes, definitely. Good vibration. Life is too short to be angry and miserable all the time. And you know what? I'm going to put a piece of greenery in here. Teresa says, I agree, Linda. It, it's always fun with me. Definitely. May keeps you guys going. She's like that energizer bunny, you know, like keeps giving and giving and she she gives and gives. But you know, that black and that green, it kind of that I think it needs that green to <laughs> out more. I'm sorry. Did you just hear yourself? 
I don't know. What did I say? Because I never You know. were like, May just keeps giving oh. and giving, but this purple and green, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> What do you even think about that? I'm not, I'm digging, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Are you digging it? Oh my God. <laughs> Move that green there to make that dead, that dead um, black branch. I like the black mystical branch, you know? Yes. Now I could probably take this hand. Y'all, we you got to change you know, up that hands a little. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, oh my God, that oh, was too I like funny. That. I like it like that. I like it like, ooh, baby. I like it like that. I like it like that. Mira, bye. What do you guys think? Love it. Love it. March says it's amazing, me. It's amazing. Do uh, you have the green burlap leaves from Dollar Tree? Do I have what? Yvonne is asking, do you have the green burlap leaves from Dollar Tree? No, I haven't been to Dollar Tree. They have says, love it. I know they had them last year, and I like to make my burlap leaf into make make it look metallic, like pewter, because I like yeah. the material look. That's so I and I made them into metallic. Do you guys like it like this? I love it. Like that? Look, oh, love wait. it, love it, love it. I love it. <laughs> My witches. I, okay, I'm, I'm goofing around too much with y'all. <laughs> Patricia <laughs> says, I think you should take the hands and put it in your bed so when Eric goes to bed tonight, you scare the crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thought. That's a good thought. I like that idea. I like it. I like it. Mm hmm. Oh, baby. I like it like that. I like it like that. March says, love it. Denise, I love it. Patricia, love, love, love. Teresa, I love the hat, May. Damn, I almost burned myself. Don't burn yourself. Close call, ladies. Close call, my witchies. Don't take offense to it. I don't, you know. It's a, it's in a loving manner. It ain't so. It ain't so. I like it like that. I like it like that. Maria Floriano says, hi, May, love the hat. Maria, how are you? We haven't seen you in a while. How is everything? Hi, Maria. So happy to see you. Gosh, you guys all surprised me when you come in here. I mean, I love you guys all. I'm so happy. How are you? I'm gonna put some of this purple and make it pop here and pop. You gotta pop, pop, make it pop. You don't waste anything here. Nada. So, who wants a kit? Who wants a, a witch's boot kit? Mm hmm. Maria says it's been a very difficult year, May. I know. Aww. Sorry to hear that. It's been rough for everybody. This is crazy the way this year has been. All right, guys, we're going to add this little baby in and this hat. We're going to put a bell on her little tip, tip, tip. And uh, this Southern Bell girl is about, you know, she done gone crazy witchy. 
So who's interested in the boot kit? Who's interested in a boot kit? We got four. We are going to add some greenery to it. Yep. I think my I think my hat. I'm sorry. I, I gotta say my hat's better than that girl's hat. She trying to charge up an arm and a leg on that crap. On um, her what? I don't have a bell big enough for the tip, so we're gonna have to add this little tiny bell. It's probably not so noticeable, but I was hoping. See, guys, I got this big one and then the little one, but I think that big one is like whoa. Yeah, I think the little one is good. Or maybe you could put like two or three of them together. You know, like in a dangle form. Yeah. Or maybe just hold off on until I find one that's suitable. Mm -hmm. yeah, so a medium size. Yeah. All right, my ladies. What do you guys think? Nobody is interested in the shoe kit, in the boot kit, I mean. Not the hat kit. We ain't doing a hat kit, but we're doing no the boot kit. May I stink? I love it. March says no bell. Beautiful, awesome, fabulous hat. I love, love, love it. There we go. Nice. Manito. I am in love with this hat. Love it. So, what did we Patricia use? Patricia loves the hat. Marge is saying, how much is the kit? Um, The kit is $50 plus shipping. Oh, that's a good idea, Sheila. Sheila says hang a spider from the tip instead. Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to have to yes. find a spider. That's a fab idea. I love that yeah. idea. And I know I have some stuff, some spiders from last year. I just got to get my Halloween decor stuff down. That's a fab, fab idea. Love it. March says, yes, hang a spider from the hat. Yeah, it's going to look nice. Yeah, I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. Me también. Everybody likes the spider idea. Yeah, I'm going to find a spider. So again, it's a halfway, I mean, not halfway, it's finished. We just have to. Linda says beautiful and she's clapping for you. Some finishing touches to, to it and then um, it'll be complete. But I think she turned out amazing. I love it. So this is the one that inspired me, which is the one that, um, my friend had in that was she bought those are the shoes y'all saw my shoes all she did all she did she took this lady whoever she is i don't know who it was she took a piece of oops and you can do it like that this is a different pattern of a shoe but she took a piece of muslin laid it down let me show you and with black and then she took a piece of twine kind of fluffed it up you see, that's that big rope from probably Dollar Tree. Now, these shoes, I think they're like $85. And then on the hat, all she did is she took some cheesecloth. Mm-hmm, cheesecloth. A piece of greenery. Mm-hmm. And a burlap piece, stuck it there. And I think that hat was $65 or something like that. But, hey, we made, we made a gorgeous piece. I like mine. I like my version better. Just saying. I like it. Um, Patricia would like to see, would love to see the hat next to the shoe. And Linda says yours is much better, I think. I, I agree, like, Linda. 
You want to see the hat with the shoes? Let me go get the shoes. Go down. Down. Okay, so what we did different with the shoe, I ended up, here's the shoe for those of you guys. I put um, Fabri-Tac to get glue these down. And I moved the bow to the back. I just thought it looked better there in the back. And I think she came out stinking adorable. Um, but... Let's zoom out so you guys can see her better. <coughs> you see that? See that? Yeah, it's it's a top view, but you can see it. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Very, that, very that's pretty. That's the shoe. I still like mine. Um, I think I think mine's turned out better than that girl's, and definitely, she didn't. I know she didn't have no eighty-five dollars worth of stuff in it. That's for sure. I think she sells by the pair, if I'm not mistaken. Um, thank you. Thank you, uh, Teresa, Yvonne, Marcela, Karen, Linda, Patricia. Thank you all, Marge, Sheila. I think she sells it by, by the pair. But this is um, this is Cinderella. The, the evil Cinderella version. So her prince has to come and bring her the other pair of shoes. Yeah, she missed, she, she's missing a boot. She missed it in the um, um, after hour party that they had. The ladies are saying you can sell your shoe. Yeah. I say auction it. I say go on my table. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Yeah, I say it's going on my table. That's where it's going. <laughs> That's where it goes. March says very Victorian looking. Mm -hmm. I think that purple kind of made it stick out much better. I might have to put some purple in that other one. A little bit of purple or something. But it turned, I think it turned out adorable. And there we have it. We have a, another completed project. Mm hmm. You're back. I'm which back project? Which are project? We put a picture up. I will put a picture after after we finish here, so you guys can see it. Yeah, it's gonna look nice on the table. 
Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, Yeah, always for our home. I don't sell my work. Um, very seldom have I sold my work because it's just people don't want to pay for it, you know. And we have that mentality as a crafter. I we're, we're teaching people how to make it. So what's the point <laughs> of selling it if I've already taught you how to make it and you can make it for yourself for, you know, three times the amount that, you know, I made it or could have sold it for <laughs> because let's be honest, you're going to go to uh, Joanne's, find some of these picks, and you'll end up probably walking out with three times the amount that you had to buy originally. I end up giving um, a lot of my projects all. away. Huh? I end up giving a lot of my projects away. Yeah, so do I, I mean, I don't, it, it's seldom that I sell my work because, I mean, I'm teaching you guys how to make it. So you guys can make it yourself and spend all the money in making it. <laughs> it's always fun making your own work anyway. I think it is. It's more uh, gratifying gratifying to make it yourself. Oh, I think so too. Because then you can say, look, I made that. Someone message me, see who it is. Let me see. Anyway, the kits are great. Yes, the kits are really good because it that way you don't have to go out and you know get the stuff to make it. So it kind of helps you out that way. It gives you it gives you the uh, opportunity to make it yourself, and not have to go buy it. Oh, poor Evelyn. She says, "Man, I was just getting comfortable." <laughs> <laughs> yep. Why buy it when you can DIY it? That's right. I give mine away, or they are for me. Uh, that's me too, Denise. That's exactly how I normally. Um, give it away or I seldomly seldomly sell that some people don't appreciate the work that goes on right, so they don't want to pay what's that some people don't appreciate the work that goes into it so they think that the price that we ask is too much they don't appreciate it well I know some people but you know there's some people I know some ladies Sell a junk journals for three to five hundred dollars. The junk journals, and they're not the prettiest junk journals either. But <laughs> are willing to pay for it. But um, if you're teaching someone how to make something, there goes you know you don't make. You've given out the technique. So what's the point of you trying to sell it now? Well, for those that don't want to make it. True, but not everyone. Yeah. There's just it's just some people don't appreciate the work, especially if they're not a crafter. They can't appreciate the work that goes into it. Mm -mm. The time and effort and I wouldn't pay five hundred dollars for a junk journal. Hell no, me either. It's crazy. I would pay a hundred dollars for a junk journal. And that's because most of the people that does junk journals, they do. They add mailers and stuff like that that they get in the mail. No, don't get me wrong. There's some junk journals out there that are beautiful. But I don't think I can spend that kind of money on a journal. No, I think for a journal, it's just way too much. I'm sorry. Well, especially when a lot of them just put, they don't, they use stuff that they get from the mail, like packaging and stuff like that, which is why they're called junk journals, but. Yes, some are just not crafty, says Denise. True. But then you ask them to buy your stuff and they won't. 
I know one one crafter out there. She sells her journals for three ninety five. Mm -mm. There really isn't much to it. I, I I couldn't see myself selling a junk journal that expensive, or any journal for that matter. Well, those are people that normally have the following for that kind of price. Like I would I would expect to pay that kind of money for like Funabar. Sorry, I'm chewing on. on Finnabar or um Seth Seth Epter does beautiful work too. Oh I love his stuff. Yeah that, I love his those, products. Mm -hmm. Like I bought a Finnabar piece and her piece I paid a hundred dollars for it and she really said I don't know how to price it. You give me whatever you want to give me. And I thought it was worth $100, so I gave her $100. But that's coming from Finnabar. And she's a talented artist. So. I think it's great when people sell their work. I just never had luck with that. You like to make a lace book? I just did a video tutorial, Evelyn, on lace book. Why don't you follow along and make one? Use all those laces. I use a lot of laces in it. Yeah, there is no right way of making them. Lace books, just, I think lace books, to be honest, are easier than paper books because the lace books, you don't have to measure like you would with paper. Paper, you have to measure. Now, oh, on lace books, you really, now, I can see the price going up on lace books because lace books, ha lace costs more than mailers. Um, I can actually see someone spend, you know, selling their lace books for two, three hundred dollars because there's a lot of money put into lace and appliques and fabric. But definitely there's no money in vested in mailers. Good night, Miss Sheila. Good night, Sheila. Yeah, there's not, there's not much <clears throat> on um, some people use um, recycled cereal boxes to make their covers for their journal. Mm-hmm. A lot of the junk journals are made out of, made up of recycled items. Aww. My friend Chiquita crocheted her name is Deborah. Crochet her name is Deborah. She made me a mirror like you did, May. Such a beautiful gift. I was touched. She's getting into paper craft. That is awesome. Helen, good night. Are you going to bed too, Evelyn? Anyway, guys, I should get out of here. I will take pictures of this tomorrow because the lighting's not good. Yeah, for sick, yeah, I mean, it's also a little bit um, for cereal on the cereal boxes, it's more pliable than the stiffer chipboard. Like you can bend the pages a little bit more. Uh, 
Oh, thank you, Miss Patricia. May that mirror is one of my most precious possession. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Ah, uh, you like my mixed media. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna make tomorrow. I'm not sure, <clears throat> really. Um. Oh, I think I'm gonna make some paper flowers. Good night, Teresa. Evelyn says, "Not like, love it." Not like, love it. Aw. Patricia said, "Had a lot of fun this afternoon, ladies, and May. Your hat turns out awesome." Thank you. I always have fun. You ladies are awesome. Yeah. Thanks, guys. And May didn't sew today. Huh? May didn't sew today, or did you? I didn't what? Did you sew? I did. You did? I sewed. What did you sew? Oh, the, br hat. the brim of... Oh, I wasn't here for that. I missed it. She did missed anybody it. Tease I, you? No, I sewed the hat, guys. See that? I had to redeem myself. Joyce, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are. You're so quiet lately, Miss Joyce. I'm gonna have to pull your tongue because I'm not used to you being quiet, Miss Joyce. Uh, good night, Yvonne. Good night, Joyce. Yes, I so see Yvonne was paying attention. I wasn't here. Remember, With I came in late. And by hand, thank you, Yvonne, for clarifying that. Thank you. I wasn't here. That's why I asked. Uh -huh. Don't yell at me, guys. Don't yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, don't forget to leave a comment at the end of this video. It might take a couple minutes for it to load once mm -hmm. I get off of here. Um, but leave a comment below. And I'm going to start to try to take one person once a month. I'm going to select one person from the comments. Good night, Miss Roger. You were watching. Look at you. Um, if you haven't hit the thumbs up, please do so. So once a month, I'm going to select a person. I'm going to randomly select somebody that leaves a comment and send them something, a little something, something. It's not going to be a big deal, like a big bulky item, but something as a token of my appreciation for you taking a few minutes of leaving me a comment. Now look at my Brody nails because they're disgusting. Carla's going to be very disappointed that she paid money for my nails and they're all nasty right now. So Yes, don't expect the witch hat or the boot. Yep, don't expect the witch hat it's, or the boot. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. <laughs> But I will do <laughs> something. I will start selecting people. That just encourages you guys to leave me a little note at the end. And let me know what would you guys like for me to make. I know I'm going to make a witch body because I got some witch feet to make a body with. So I might be making a primitive witch here. If you guys would like for me to do a primitive witch, comment below at the end of this video um, that you would like for me to do a primitive witch. Witch, a witch, witch, <laughs> witch, witch, <laughs> witch, witch, I'm gonna use these that you can buy at um, Joann's. But I think, you know what, Dollar Tree, I think at one time, oh no, Michaels, Michaels had them. Yes, give thumbs up. I remember I got them last year. So anyway, but you can make these really easy. Just shape out a little shoe, a piece of uh, velvet or felt, not velvet, felt. And so it just it's just really simple. Cut out your shoe. Yes, Patricia, what's your question? Patricia has a question. Uh -huh. What have you done with the body that you cut the hole in and put books in? Oh, I haven't done anything, Miss Patricia. <laughs> You want me to finish that? <laughs> Patricia, you weren't supposed to remember that. I have not finished that project. Yes, yes, yes. I, know. <laughs> I have to decorate the book. We know how it is when I'm decorating books. It could be slow. 
<laughs> I did the wings though. Look, I got the wings. wings she found are... the wings. I just got to decorate the books. <laughs> the wings are done. That's progress right there. Hey. She's talking about this, guys. <laughs> she says, thought I would ask. She's laughing. No, no, you're keeping you're keeping me on track. I haven't forgotten. Here it is. So this is what she's talking about. I had um, this is a paper mache. I cut out that and add the little shutters. And there's these little books that are going in that I these are Dollar Tree books. But you can get them cheaper at Walmart. Pack of three for like eighty six cents. I haven't decorated it. We all know how I am. So. I have a paper mache one body like that. It's really easy. Let's finish the witch. How's that? And then we'll finish this one next. Because we do have to do a dog head bottle that I said I would do. And I think I'm going to convert one of them to be a witchy doll. So I think tomorrow we're going to do a primitive doll. But comment below. Tell me below the end of this video what you guys would like for me to do next. Okay. Okay. You asked for it. <laughs> comment below and tell me what you guys want me to do next. So it'll be done tomorrow if I have the stuff. Um, Rosal said, Miss May, I am waiting for your call. Okay, Tuesday. You said Tuesday, right? Tuesday. I am going to call you Tuesday. It's very important. No creepy doll. Hey, it's Halloween. Yes, a creepy Nani, doll. Nani, what do you think? Should we do a creepy doll next? Nani's going to vote. Creepy doll? You got to speak. They can't hear. They can't see you nodding your head. They should become psychic. <laughs> Yes or no? Yes. Nani said yes to the creepy doll. I agree. Creepy doll. All right, my ladies. Nani's got good taste. <laughs> I dropped drank my water so that's no noise you guys saw, heard. I am going to get off of here, clean my mess. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Um, same place, same time. I'm probably going to upload a quick video tutorial because I got these. Um... <laughs> Patricia says no. No, <laughs> you love your dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy dolls are fun. Uh, oh, God. Okay. So I got these and um, I've been following Elizabeth Craft Designs and I love, love, love her craft tutorials. She does amazing craft tutorials. I mean, absolutely love her products. I love her tutorials are amazing. So I just got these in yesterday. So I'm thinking of during a day, during a tutorial on how to use these because we, we, have been approved to start carrying some of these. I just have, we we're going to do a pre-order if anybody wanted to start working with these. And um, so if you're interested, this is, uh, what is this? God, I can't see. One of these is floral one and floral four. I think this is floral one. Are these the same? Did I go and do that? No, there's different. Because, you know, I have been known to order the same stuff. Okay, so one is floral one and one is floral. Okay, floral one, duh, and floral four. So I'm going to do a tutorial on these, on how to make something. And she's been using these as the stamen. And she used this as a little cluster. So I'm thinking of something to make with that. So it's going to be recorded um, so that I can concentrate on that because it's it's paper crafting, guys. I got to concentrate on paper crafting. <coughs> All right. I Rajul says good night. Love you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
Absolutely no dolls for me. <laughs> huh? Evelyn, absolutely no dolls for me. Nope, not that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's my bottle doll. You're back, Miss Carrie. It's my bottle doll. You you saw my bottle doll before. Was it creepy? No answer. Huh? No answer. No answer. Nani says, was my bottle doll creepy? You didn't like my bottle dolls? No. I like the bottle dolls. But they I weren't don't... creepy at all. But, but you like you like scary. Yeah, I remember <laughs> everyone liking them. Turn my sewing machine on. It is off. No, it's not on. The sewing machine, the, the light's on. Switch is on the side. That doll freaked me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> These ladies are funny. But she was pretty. She was pretty. All right. Well, I'll, I, I can't I can't guarantee it's going to look pretty. Good night, my witches. Good night, Miss Mark. You have made a creepy doll in the past, though. I did. It was. It was um, a yeah, bottle. I remember. Doll. It was a yeah. bottle creepy doll. Yeah, her. I loved her. it. Well, her. It wasn't. It wasn't that she was creepy. It was just that I made her lips like kind of like a dark burgundy, darkish, you know. And that yeah, made you, her you, look kind of aged dark. her. You dirtied her skin too to make her look old. Yeah. Just to make it. Look yeah, it's it was all the um, prima mold on it that stained it and mm. kind of made her look kind of creepy. But you know, she didn't take much. Yeah, she was pretty, and I mean, she was pretty. I think she's just had I the. Loved it. She yeah, just says, yes, it was creepy. <laughs> I my hands over my eyes most of your video tutorial. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we won't be able to make her then because it's Halloween and I feel like, you know, I would have to make something creepy, 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 creepy. Um. All right, my witchies, my friends, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Comment below, what do you want me to do tomorrow? Tell me, you have to tell me, because if you don't tell me, I'm gonna do something totally the opposite. And it might be that witchy doll, that ugly, creepy doll that you don't want to see. So if you don't want to see me make that creepy doll, <laughs> comment below. If you had sent that to me without me knowing, when I opened the box, I would have had a... <laughs> 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 okay, oh. make something creepy. Let me know. I will load up on chocolate and hide behind my hands. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, God. It's Halloween, guys. We gotta have fun. Yes. Have you never decorated your house for Halloween, Miss Patricia? Halloween, there's nothing pretty about Halloween. They are funny. Did she pass out? Oh, she said never. She's never decorated for Halloween. Wow. Never oh, Teresa says harvest. Yeah, not the same. They, they, no. She decorates more for autumn and stuff. No, that's not the same. <laughs> well, we're going to have to shake that up because if Brianna Larson changed me to make Halloween decors, then y'all have to now make Halloween decor too. That's just a challenge. We're going to do a challenge. Yvonne says, okay, so what are the choices again? <laughs> so I have to let the dog out. <laughs> We're going to do a witch, either a witch. We did a witch last year out of a cone. And if you followed my Christmas Santa, 
that which is made almost similar to the Christmas Santa. The video is on my um, channel, so you can look at that video and how I did a witch out of a witch's head that I purchased from Joann's. And it was like an ornament head. And that same technique, you can use it to make a Christmas Santa. And I did that a couple of years ago. I did a Christmas Santa out of a Christmas ornament head from Hobby Lobby. So last year we did the witch out of a cone. This year, I think we're going to use these legs and we're going to stuff a body and make a primitive doll. So here's the primitive doll. We have a primitive doll made out of muslin or a doll head made out of a bottle or attached to a bottle. And what else can we make? That is Halloweenish. A creepy doll. A creep. Well, that doll, the bottle head would be creepy. Oh, okay. I don't think she was creepy. We just kind of made her lips kind of. We can also do a, a Halloween bottle. So that would be thing, three things. A mystical Halloween bottle. Um, last year I made one because I, was, I didn't have any craft stuff. So it was on a very tight budget and very limited supplies. This year I can make a Halloween brewing bottle or a Halloween creepy doll head, which I don't really think she's creepy. I think that Patricia's just, um, I think Patricia's not, not, no, she wasn't creepy. She was sexy. And, <laughs> um, or a primitive doll for Halloween. How do you turn Freddy Krueger into Santa? <laughs> How do you, I, 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 um, um, I, I have no, you left me speechless on that one. Um, I don't think so. I don't think that's possible. But these hat and these shoes, guys, for those oh, of you guys. Listen to this coming from somebody that gets creeped out. Your stick leg shoes you have there with a muslin body, but no head, et cetera, and drip blood on it. This coming from Patricia. Patricia. See? <laughs> See? See? You do look creepy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to admit it. You just don't yeah. want Admit it. We're gonna convert you after all. We'll convert you into creepy Halloween stuff. Okay, guys, but in all seriousness, if you guys don't like Halloween, this project that I did yesterday and today, you can definitely make 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 I can't even speak. You can definitely, definitely make a Kris Kringle hat and a Santa pair of shoes using the same technique. I just gotta get you guys that pattern. But we got to sell the four kits first. Oh, Yvonne, that's a great idea. Heads are optional. Wendy Adams doll. A Wendy Adams. Who's Wendy Adams? The Adams family? Wendy Adams family. Yeah, the daughter. Oh. Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh. She had kind of like an old football head, right? Yeah. Why not Mortician? Yeah. Mortician? Morticia Adams. Yeah, but I can't. I, I, I'm going to make her out of fabrics. So I would have to see how to kind of take a look at that face. We're working with muslin and we're working with this doll head. So if I was making a doll head bottle. <clears throat> yeah, no, you can't do muslin. We would use this, attach it to a bottle, right? And basically, it's taking a bottle, putting her in there, right? Um, that's what I would do. And we could probably make a witch's hat for her. Ooh, she'd look cute with a witch's hat. Don't you think? She would look cute with a witch's hat. Mm -hmm. She'll be a pretty witch. Not all witches are ugly. Uh, by the way, The Addams Family is playing on Netflix. Ooh, do you want to watch The Addams Family? It's always been on Netflix. Hmm. Hmm.
What's up, baby girl? Oh, maybe cool. Oh, yeah. that would be cool. Remember the doll head with spider body from Toy Story. Okay, you'll have to send me. Yvonne, are you and I friends? Send me pictures. I need to see that. What from Toy Story? The doll head. Toy Story? Oh, yeah. With yeah. Spider body from Toy Story. Yeah. yeah. It's mind. really cool. Teresa says, oh, no, not her. I won't be able to look at my dogs again. Nope. I, no, not her. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, here we go. All right. So here's the options. Here's the option. So. Hmm. Oh, gosh, guys, it just got really gore, gory. Um, Y'all know I love grungy. She's under Mabel Rodriguez, Yvonne. Yeah, Mabel Rodriguez. Mabel. Um, Mabel, Mabel, here. Here, Yvonne, hold on. Let me see if I find myself because there's a new way of doing this. Um... <laughs> Teresa says, May not feeling the love. <laughs> Teresa, Teresa, how do you get into your profile now? With um, how do you get into your profiles now? Like, really? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna have to click on my name. I could send her a picture of your profile on Messenger. Oh, did you? Okay, I could for you. Let me oh. do that. Tall, witchy, grungy. Wow. See, I like the way you think, Karen. I just love the way you think. Mm -hmm. You know what we can do? So, okay, we can add comment below. Mm -hmm. Witch with a hat bottle. Primitive doll with the feet. Or... Or we can definitely, and I'm thinking gothically, witchy. Um, we can definitely work on one of these with some gothic wings. Because I have these little feather things that would probably look really awesome instead of all this fluffy, fluffy stuff. We can work on one of these. Except the problem is that this here will take me a little bit longer to work on. So you guys have to bear with me. So we're going to have to start early tomorrow to get this done. So comment below what you guys want. Gothic dress form with wings. That means we're going to do, this is, this is a different one, Miss Patricia. I know you don't like that. This, this These wings go to that. We can do another one because I have another dress form. Gothic new dress form, primitive witch, bottle witch. What was the other option? I forgot what it was. Karen says tall grungy witch is my vote. Teresa says my vote is body. Won't have to deal with doll heads. <laughs> yeah. Gothic yep. dress form with wings. Yes. You have to comment on the video below. When I get off of here, your comment will be below. Yeah, you have to wait to comment till after. Yes. Oh, I the love the way you think, Miss Patricia, because I got it. I got something like up. Oh my God, it just came to me. It just came to me. Seriously. I like the way you think. So you have to vote below at the end of this video in the comment section. Yes, Yvonne, it says, I love mom. Um, and that's me and my mother. Um, um, the doll head is too pretty to be a witch. She's, she's, you know, she is pretty, but not all witches are ugly. You know, people say I'm a witch, but I think I'm pretty, you know? So, not all witches are ugly. So, we could put a little hat on her on here, like um, maybe a hat, cut out the circle and have her hair. I don't know, something. We have to do something about her. Put a hat on the side. Let's see. Put a hat on the side or something. I can't think. I don't have anything here, but you can put a little hat on the side of her. 
or let her hair down with a hat mm -hmm. with a hat on yeah that would work too her hair her hair down with a hat oh yeah oh yeah we can put her hair down with a hat oh you're gonna comment you better comment you're gonna comment because you like me i anyway, say make her look ugly make her look ugly who yeah, said that yeah. me oh you said make her look ugly yeah make her nose like a witch's nose with the war and everything oh my god you want her to be green yes <laughs> i could send you my sister and you can use her for a thought of how to make a real witch <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> oh my God. Teresa says yes, but when she starts showing up in different rooms of your house, you will rethink your decision. <laughs> <laughs> Patricia's really trying to talk us out of this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> If that happens, Teresa, she'll make sure to send it to you. Uh, yeah, right. For sure. <laughs> or Patricia, just to spook the hell out of her. <laughs> I, I wish I picked her name out of the drawing. <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. She would hate that at all. <laughs> I would never imagine her doing that. Oh, my God. She would really hate that dog. <laughs> These ladies, they crack me up. Yeah. <laughs> Teresa says, uh, nope. <laughs> I think so. I think it'll be a good idea. All right. So, okay. So tomorrow is Monday. Like I had told you guys, you know, with me not going to school anymore, I can do more videos and, um, so I was thinking, <laughs> it says Texas. I'm going to burn it. What am I going to say Texas? No, if the package. <laughs> if it says <laughs> Texas, Texas, you're going to burn, burn it. Well, then I'm not going to put it. I'm not going to put a returning address on that. So you won't know it's coming from Texas. I'm mm -hmm. only like a die of a heart attack. You're not old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I can't <laughs> oh now they're old all of a sudden yeah now they're <laughs> old right all right that's true true so okay I'm thinking um and comment below this is something else you guys have to comment below so you got to comment on what project you want me to do next but tell me what you guys think about getting together because I want to make an effort of making videos, but I also want to make an effort because I had to hold myself accountable about walking. But I start walking around probably in the afternoon. But what do you guys think if we do videos? And I know that some of you guys are in different time zones. Like Patricia is Mountain Standard Time. Um, the other ladies are Eastern Standard Time. And Young Sue is Pacific Standard Time. Um, Yvonne is in California, right? I think so. So if I did it, if I did a 11 o'clock during a day where we're just doing some random craft, like nothing planned, maybe, maybe some gel press printing for pages, maybe putting together a little album, something paper related, something easy and quick, you know, just making something, maybe decorating a, um, I don't know, pocket for something and having coffee with you guys. How do you guys think about that? 8 p.m. here. So yeah, your mountain standard time. What do you guys think? So comment below. Don't tell me here. I don't want to hear about here. Tell me in the comments below. What do you guys think about? Um, I don't know. Who's an early bird here? Like 10 o'clock my time is actually 9 Mountain, 8 Pacific Standard Time, which 
that's perfect time for me and um, because then I can go walking at around 12 12 30 maybe one at the latest and then jump in on live in the evening since I'm not in school but comment below let me know what works for you guys what do you guys think yeah, so but, remember, you're going to comment for which project and um, what time is best for you. Si, senora. Así mismo. <laughs> what she said. What she said. Mm-hmm. Look, the doll is already speaking. Si, claro. Teresa. Teresa. <laughs> You have 12, so so that is 30. She has nurses. So okay. maybe uh, 10 o'clock my time, which is 10 o'clock is okay for me because everyone in the East Coast, that would be 11, which makes it um, 9 Mountain, 8 Western. Yeah, I mean, evening is better for me. Your mornings are what? Too early for West Coasters. <laughs> she will burn it. She will burn it. Okay. Well, well, we we always do seven o'clock in the evening for 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 me. But I just thought maybe well, you know do some a couple little quick little get together coffee, wake you guys up bright and shine. Although ten o'clock is not really bright and shine. I'll, we get up early here. Bright and shine, my ladies. All right, comment below. I'm getting off of here because I'm chatting too much. So don't forget. Don't forget to comment below. Okay? Okay. Bye. <laughs> alligator. This is for you, Teresa. Teresa. <laughs> This is for you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Bye. Good night, my ladies. Good night, guys. Seriously. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God.